Hello, everyone. Welcome to Rock Coliseum 15, the 15th-ish time we've done this. With me are some friends. Thank you all for joining in to the next Rock Coliseum. We look forward to this all the time, and we're very happy that so many of you join us on these Wednesday evenings to do stuff like this. My name is Luke, hope the YouTube channel rocked. And before we get into what Rock Coliseum is, for all the new people, we'll some, do some quick introductions. John, why don't you go first? Hey guys, my name is John. I run the music-based channels ARTV and Beyond ARTV on YouTube. I do similar things to what these gentlemen do, but uh, if you like music countdowns, discussion, deep dives, and reviews, and that sort of thing, then yeah, that's me. Mark, why don't you go ahead? Hey there, folks. It's Mark, the host of Spectrum Pulse, where I talk about music, movies, art, and culture. Um, a lot of the content I do is short-form album reviews, occasionally long-form album reviews, my weekly series, Billboard Breakdown, with the inanities and insanities of the Hot 100, year-end top 10 list, or actually top 50 list on occasions, and as of recently, more video essay-related content, which has been um, received a, a little better than I was expecting, so I'm going to lean into it. You know, it's good material. You deserve it. If you're not Same. getting hate mail, no. that's a good sign. <laughs> and right. Crash, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crash, why don't you go ahead? Heyo, everyone. I'm Crash Thompson. I host the Crash Thompson channel. I do much the same as these lovely gentlemen. I review music, short form video reviews, long form essays, top tens, all the shenanigans. Sometimes I may even jump around in my underwear and goof off. That is a thing that actually happened recently. So yes, there you go. I there saw it go. happen. <laughs> 500 yeah. likes, guys. You're going to have to really work for it if you want to see that on screen. 500 <laughs> likes. Luke, d you be careful what you ask for with that, man. We oh, no, you more, more likes. Ah. <laughs> it's, not, it, it's not that I'm afraid of doing it. It's afraid. I'm afraid that I know I'll do it. Uh, so you don't. Okay. You just... <laughs> Okay. You be real careful what you ask. Like that that video was intended to scare the hoes. I do not want to scare your lovely audience. <laughs> scare the Coliseum. <laughs> do not scare the Coliseum. Hey, Mark's birthday is tomorrow. I was going to say, this Mark, could be an early present. so many people in the oh. chat are saying tomorrow is Mark's birthday. Uh, Mark, why don't you bring this up to us? What the heck? Well, because I assumed you knew, and I thought you'd be getting me all sorts of presents. I did. I you know what the uh, presents? You know what? Of course, in the mail. Mm -hmm. wait, wait, oh, uh, trash! Oh, we lost oh, trash. No. Oh no! Ah, dang it! Of course, crash. Why do I hear you taking uh -oh. your shirt off? Why do I hear you taking clothes off, crash? Dang oh, it, hush. crash! They're all you being hush. thrown to the ground. <laughs> oh, you can at least hear me, right? Yes, we yeah. can. Okay, well, I'll get this fixed. Give me a minute. I'm sorry, y'all. I would like to inform everyone after they give their introductions, all three of their channels can be found in the description below. Please subscribe to them if you haven't not. Great music content, great things to follow as well. And Emperor Tiger Star just quoted it by saying, Crash crashed. That is correct. Did. Crash. Whoa, whoa. Yes, swamp. There's. Oh. Uh, I, ho I hope that's the only bad joke of the night. I hope for Mark, that's your birthday present. The only bad joke of the evening. Only that's bangers it. from here on out. Yeah. <laughs> only absolutely. top of the line humor. Luke, well, you know better. You know better than all of us. That is not going to be the case. <laughs> <laughs> well, while Crash is getting his camera back up, I'm going to go ahead and explain Rock Coliseum to all the new people. This is where the four of us try to decide what we think about your suggestions in rock, alternative metal, indie, punk, industrial, and everything in between. This can be an artist, a band, a song, an album. You can Then we give the thumbs up or the thumbs down on them. That means when we get a thumbs up, that means we overall like it. If we all give a thumbs down, we hate it. And we usually find a funny way to punish it. If, however, we come to a tie, that's where all of you come in. We will make a poll, and you all will be the fifth person to actually do a live in-chat poll, thanks to you two finally getting their crap together after years of not having this feature. I don't know, about time. So, yeah. it'll also make sense as well. This is also something we can put two of an artist, two bands, two songs, two albums against each other and make us pick between one or another. You can be as specific or as vague as you want to be. Keep in mind, however, there are a few... Prerequisites to this. Number one, don't say anything that we're going to be offended by or is so mind-numbingly stupid that it's a waste of time. And number two, for the first hour of this actual stream, we want you to give us suggestions that we have a chance of knowing. If you give us a suggestion like Zack and the Zack Tones, where that don't even know how many music that we've heard of, it's not going to make for good conversation. So, if you give us things that we actually have a chance of knowing, it leads to better. The first hour is open rain. You give your suggestions, we go through it. The second hour is for Super Chats. 
This is where we pull all the Super Chats. I had them pulled over to the right side. I actually have a feed going for the viewer activity. And we read them at random. We'll go through as many as possible. And all the ones we can't get to, we will put on a Super Chat document, which will be posted with all the actual Super Chats and given our thumbs up or thumbs down opinions. It's a lot of fun. It all makes sense as it goes on. Did I forget anything, gentlemen? Just one thing to note here. Yes, I am eating. Um, that's because I did not have a chance for dinner to have before. I have spicy fried chicken in front of me. And yes, it's quite Ooh. good. Do you deliver? Uh, no, yeah. I actually got some in. Uh, I got some, I make them in batches and I just cook a bunch on like, I threw this together in the microwave. We may pull it together pretty quick. Homie talks, about, homie talks about how he's jealous about us not sending presents, but then he doesn't share his wings. I know, just, right? That's not very 420 of you, Mark. Say, Crash, I think you'll appreciate this. It's better than the Jack Harlow combo meal. <laughs> but dumb dish beautiful i tried beautiful. for mark your birthday i tried to say there was not gonna be no more bad jokes and what happens <laughs> not even uh, five minutes later wasn't it you to see it. Uh, there you go so everyone thank you again for coming into this super lovely evening thank you all for the super chat so far keep them coming i'll make messages and everything so far Finally, my lovely wife Gretchen is in the chat somewhere modding. If you misbehave, she will give you the boots, and I will give her full reign to do so. Just a heads up. Everyone That's say right. hi to Gretchen. And also, hi, everyone Gretchen. tell Gretchen she is the best, because she is. She is the best. Is the best. Thank, Thank you, Gretchen. Gretchen. There we go. That being said, oh, go ahead. Oh, one more thing. One mm -hmm. more thing. Y'all leave a like on your way in, because I only see about 78 likes on this video so far 78 Ooh, that's low mm -hmm. oh that's best y'all can do better than that should we just start y'all know that helps the algorithm that helps us get out there you know should we just start over because i gave a special thing if we get to a certain amount crash would take his clothes off but wow okay man <laughs> luke, luke, luke i am upping my patreon i'm okay. upping my patreon ass Fair. for that request i tell you what if we make over a thousand dollars in super chats then we'll get to business. There you go. <laughs> Something obtainable. Everyone's saying hi to Gretchen. Gretchen popped in. Thank you, my dear. So hi, we should be set. Anything else before we get going to the madness? Because I already see suggestions coming in. I'm good. I'm ready to rock. Uh, ready to roll? Let's do it. I'm not because some of the suggestions are uh, mind numbing. Not all, but some. Everyone listening. Hey. Please start with your suggestions now. This is where you have full reign for this first hour. Give us your suggestions. Make them good. If we've done them before, we might say so. However, uh, sometimes it's just how it is. Da -da 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 -da. Give you a second. And stop. That is interesting. I guess we can. That's an interesting way to say interesting. That is, it's, mm. you're inflecting at the mm -hmm. end of your sentence. Yeah, which you're, means... you're like, we might you're have... like up, you're up speaking like it's a TikTok video for engagement. Oh. <laughs> Beastie Boys versus Machine Gun Kelly. Do you get my reaction now? Does it make yeah, me, yeah. Is it clear? Well, let me give them a reaction. I mean, we can do it. But you know. let's go quick or we could go as long as we want. Whatever. Go crash. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to break out. The, I had to break out the zoom for that. We got, we got the nineties <laughs> zoom in the radical zoom. Okay. In order. As I see them, beastie boys, one, two, three. Come now. Yeah. Come now. You know what? No, I'll give that to. I'll, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I mean like no, for this, I just have to make it clear where I land. <laughs> we'll just, we won't go around the horn. This one. Does anyone have any thoughts about this quick one to start off? I like Machine Gun Kelly more than most. I don't. I, you don't put them up against the Beastie Boys. Yes, take no. on its own. Yeah, no. that it's it's not even their biggest record, but it's like it's so honestly, it's probably their best record. Yeah, yeah it is. Mm -hmm. Even Beastie Boys at their most immature in the earlier days, I still feel would stand out in their flow and everything they're delivering. I don't know though. That's a different argument right there. All I know is I feel like mm -hmm. Mike D would make Machine Gun Kelly cry if it was an actual rap album. Oh, between the two. absolutely. <laughs> I hear the <laughs> argument if you're going like licensed to ill versus maybe tickets right. to my and, down. And that's what I'm like, thinking they meant. Uh, maybe. Yeah. See, and I, I don't even think that's fair. I don't either, I don't but I get... Fair. Even that's not a fair comparison. It's not. It's licensed not. to ill was 1980, what, five? Yeah. Five. In that? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Before Machine, Gun, before Machine Gun Kelly was born. 
I, before most Actually, of us. Actually, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah, he was late Okay, okay. That, that was before I was born. Same, so. same. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it was a while back. So... <laughs> How does Machine Gun Kelly get punished for this? Does he actually have to write an essay on why BC Boys are better than him? Or because that, I don't know if we'd actually get that turned in. Can he write? Yeah. <laughs> I've heard his music. I doubt that. He I does. Doubt his ability to do that. He does. He'll have Travis Barker write it for him. He does, but it's with a crayon, uh, like that big with crayon. Like, yes, like, because he can't do like actual letters by himself. He's got to go on tour just doing covers of Beastie Boys songs. Oh, and oh, failing while, oh, opening, he... while opening for Ooh. Slipknot. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, see, see, he would have he would have that coming. That would be S- happening. Slipknot has bring your own tomatoes night and just yeah. I was just it. thinking that just think oh. they're selling slingshot merch out there. Yeah. Corey Taylor's just standing off to the side the whole time with a big <laughs> bucket of popcorn. Clown and just... Clown and Corey just have like eggs, just chucking it like yeah. teenagers. Goodness. There we go. Okay, we got okay. fair enough. <laughs> Interesting discussion. I guess I see mm-hmm. something for that. Go ahead. One one more comment before yes. we move on. Whoever requested that had a bad case of ill communication. Oh. Hang on. Okay. The rest of these three couldn't hear it, but I played a sound effect. I'm sure you got like a foghorn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The other one, the other one I had doesn't work, so of course it is. Okay, I get it though. Moving on. Thank you guys. Keep the suggestions coming. Keep the super chats coming. I need to type that out right now. Keep the super chats coming. We will get through as many as possible. Sorry for that mm-hmm. delay. Bam and stop. Okay. I guess I see the comparison. We have definitely not done this one. Album versus album this time. Okay. Lincoln Park's hybrid theory versus Avenged Sevenfold's Bat Country. Oh, yeah. Not well, that's, that's not an album. Well, that's just a song. Oh, it's called a yeah. song, too. So that's what it means, says. The album that, with Bat Country. Is that City of Evil? Yeah, City of City, Evil. that would yeah. be City, City of Evil. Evil. So City of Evil versus uh, hybrid. Hybrid, hybrid theory. theory. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I can do this one. Yeah. We'll modify that one, but yeah. Okay, so hybrid theory. One, two, three. To me, this isn't even close. Yeah. I know. I know. That's fun. Okay. I'm not I, upset by that because I, I, I like City I, of Evil. It's one of my favorites I, from yeah. the band. I mean, yeah, that is my I, I favorite like from them. And okay. City of Evil. One, two, three. See, this Fair surprises enough. me. You being the Lincoln Park guy you are, but okay, I'm down. I'm down. John, any defense the, for City of Evil? Uh, well, yeah. I, first of all, I know that we all agree on Linkin Park's Meteora being superior to Hybrid Theory. Hybrid Theory, to me, just isn't one that I come back to a ton. Not that I spend a lot of time with City of Evil these days, but that is my favorite Avenged album. It was, like, one of those formative albums. I mean, it came out in 05. That's, like, the year that I was, like, really getting into music. So yeah. I think it's just lodge so deeply in there but i also think that the extravagance on that album is like something that i love it's just got like the flashiest solos it's got a lot of avenge sevenfold isms that i know a lot of people hate but i don't know it's at the very least it's got some strong singles on there like beast in the harlot and bad country Mm -hmm. fair enough for the hybrid theory supports mark why don't you go first I don't even care for hybrid theory that much, but as someone who does not like Avenged Sevenfold, it wouldn't even be my go-to Avenged Sevenfold album when Nightmare is right there. Um, like, again, like this, I don't think it's particularly close. Hybrid theory, as many issues as I have with the writing not aging all that well um, and feeling a little less relevant as time passes, at least to me, um, it kind of transcends it pretty pretty handily, at least for me. Fair enough. Crash, why don't you go ahead for hybrid theory? You know, I, I got to admit, I am also with John in the boat that I think City of Evil is also uh, Avenged Best Record. I think that's probably as good as they ever got, in my opinion, uh, to be honest. And, you know, City City of Evil is the one Avenged record I will step up for. I'm not a huge Avenged guy, personally. But, like, again, hybrid theory, 
That for because I'm kind of in John only with the opposite effect. Uh, hybrid theory came out in '99, 2000, 2000, yeah, 2000. 2000. Yeah, again, that was my high school years. That was a very formative period for me. I spun the hell out of my CD copy of Hybrid Theory back in the day, and like I don't know, it's just for me, it's just there's no comparison. Like they're both good albums, but. Hybrid, to me, it's hybrid theory that doesn't even compare. And again, I'm with y'all. I'm not, that's not even Linkin Park's best record. It has aged pretty badly in a lot of ways. But I feel like it aged because it was a trailblazer. Like a lot of other bands came out yeah, of true. what hybrid theory helped to develop. Event sure. Sevenfold is just a really good ass uh, mid 2000s shred record, in my opinion. Very, very good, but not nearly as influential. You touched on a point I wanted to make. Hybrid theory felt like definitely felt more of a formation, like something like really innovative, as opposed to Event Sevenfold, who were definitely good at what they were doing, but it wasn't like anything revolutionary for that time period. And this is something that is an Event Sevenfold fan, that whole City of Evil self-titled nightmare streak I really enjoy, but Hybrid Theory had so much I went back to myself. So that's mm -hmm. why Hybrid Theory, that's it. Enjoy them both. Hybrid Theory more. We do have to punish Avenged Sevenfold for this, however, and it has to be NFT related. We cannot do anything else. I refuse. <laughs> no, yeah. Ugh. Hey, modern day, they deserve it. I got no defenses for modern. <laughs> yeah. Dan, Dan, Ols <laughs> Dan Olson absolutely drags them in his next video essay. How about that? That sounds amazing. <laughs> because, a, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't put that on anyone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that'd be a lot of work. This is their first. Would, this yeah. upcoming album's gonna be the first one since 2016, and it gets a Dan Olsen treatment. That's a rough comeback. So, oh yeah, <laughs> good suggestion. I do understand it. Thank you for keeping them coming. Very much appreciated. That's a good one. That's yeah, a very good. One. It's one we haven't done either, which I like. So, yeah, keep it up. What's our like count at? I can't 135. Tell. Okay, yes. that's not bad. We gotta. I'll, we'll think of uh, impressions for one of us to do, or someone suggests it. So, 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 so. one of us to do. I, you know, it ain't <laughs> always got to be. It ain't I was, always got to be me. I wasn't gonna I'm point it out, saying. but you know, <laughs> you know. I yeah, Luke, gonna... I've heard that you do a great Cookie Monster. I do, but man, I really gotta save my voice for that one. So, <laughs> I, I gotta do it at the right time. So, thank you guys. Keep it coming and stop. Okay, just an album in general. Not a bad, it's not a bad, we definitely haven't done it. Death Magnetic from Metallica. Ooh. Oh, oh boy. God. I, 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 see, I, I see this one getting kind of divisive here. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, I gotta pull up the track list. It's this been was, a minute since this I've been a minute since yeah. it's been a while. <laughs> this yeah. was 2008? Yeah, 08. Oh, yeah. 08, yep, 08. Damn. Yeah, right? 15 years ago. <laughs> Wow. 2008 doesn't sound like it should have been 15 years I ago. I agree. It really doesn't. I agree. Well, I mean, oh 2020, I mean, 2020 didn't count, so that's one year saved. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Everyone have one? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For Death Magnetic, one, two, three. Would be that guy. Okay. Yeah, Split. I had a feeling. I and had that's a feeling. fair. Yep. I get that's the fair. arguments yeah. already. I'm going to make no, a poll. So do I. Yeah, so do I'm, gonna I. Make, I'm not even mad. <laughs> I'm going to make a poll. Mark, why don't you go first for the thumbs down for Death Magnetic? Okay. So here's the thing I get the feeling Death Magnetic gets a little bit overrated consistently on my books because it was following Saint Anger. And again, like, there was elements of, okay, we kind of pulled out of the tailspin, but did they really? Then that's the thing. Going back to Death Magnetic right now, I have a couple issues that immediately come to mind. Number one, the length. Metallica albums are all long as it is, and Death Magnetic always felt very punishing. And the reason for that is the production. The production on that album, it is the primary culprit of the loudness war. It is a brick to hell and back. And honestly, it's one of those cases that makes it sound better in Guitar Hero than they sounded on the record. Damn. That is 100% true, though. Play it through a PS3? Is. Yeah, I guess I can go. No, that. Yeah. No, no, but literally, they had know, to remix the it. songs for yeah. Rock Band right. 3. I know. Yeah, that's actually yeah. a thing that happened. Meta Metallica so have, Guitar Hero? Yeah. When you have both those cases, and I go back to this, I'm like, there's no 
there's not really much in terms of a standout. I don't think the writing is very good. I don't think, well, again, lyrics are not Metallica's star shining point anyway. They're not. No. When I have to fight through exhausting production over an overlong album, I'm sorry, I don't go back to it. I would go back to Lulu more often for the laughs than going back to Death Magnetic. For the laughs, okay. I am the table. I'm, I'm glad you said for the laughs. I am glad. You find entertainment that way, that's fine. John, for the other side, the thumbs down argument. Well, I am the table. Fair. That's I, I am all. I am all this. So no, uh, death magnetic. I, if I can continue with what Mark was his analogy there with the tailspin, maybe they uh, pulled themselves out of the tailspin, as in they didn't make impact with the ground, but they barely the skid, leveled off. The you skid, know, it's like a, it's like landing without landing gear. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yep. And there's a few songs on there, like Unforgiven Three is on there. There's a few moments that I remember. I it has been quite some time since I sat through this record, and I think it's for similar reasons, like Mark said. It can be very punishing at an hour, even, you know, hour 15, not that abnormal for a metal record, but for no. this type of album where everything just drags, including the fact that it's so hard to, like, it, everything feels a little bit too indistinguishable. Like, yeah. everything gets buried in between. There's no real standouts, and the lyrics just kind of face plant. So for me, yeah, I, I, I don't come back to this thing. Fair. Crash, for the flip side, for the thumbs up. This could, I, God, I could not, this could not have timed better because I got a package in the mail for another video I'm working on in the future. Oh. Talk more about that at the end of the show. But I just picked up this on vinyl. <laughs> Why? Is that an original pressing? I, I, like I what? say, I, I will clarify at the end of the channel. <laughs> to the mail? At the end of the show. At the end of the channel. At the end of the show. Hey, hey, hey. At the yeah, end of the so show, you guys want to delete the channel. <laughs> I will clarify, but here's the thing. See, this bad boy, this was a career killer. Yeah. Like, this should have ended Metallica. This thing is not something you bounce back from. And even though, the thing is, the, the flaws you guys are mentioning, mentioning the horrible mix, God damn it, Rick Rubin, I get it. The mix is pretty lousy. And, you know, the lyrics, and I get it. But the thing is, it was a... <sighs> After having to sit through this, you know, uh, again, after all of that, just knowing that Metallica didn't completely lose it. And, and you know, it's it, the thing. It was it was so good because Kirk Hammett had some really good solos on that. Y- y'all say there aren't any real standouts. I don't know. A few songs I actually love, like All Nightmare Long is That's a personal kind too. of favorite of mine. All not very I like long. Uh, Underforgiven like three. Yeah. And you know what else I love about the writing? It shows Metallica can have fun again. Another thing with problem with this goddamn thing is it's all therapy speak and it's all we're miserable and we hate each other and we hate you for listening to us. And it's like, again, you listen to something like this and you and you think that, oh, this band is never coming back. This is it. This is the end of Metallica. And it was nice to see that they could still have fun, that they could still kind of come back from it, that they could still be Metallica in at least some way, shape, or form. And I get it. It's not... It, it does get a little overblown because it was the record that pulled them out of the sane anchor funk. But at the same time... I'm glad they did, because most bands don't survive a sane anger. Most bands don't come out with anything good after that. And, I I don't know, to me, I feel like that makes it worth it. Even with its problems, it is not... Like, God, I would pay good money to get someone in to remix that goddamn thing. Do the Guitar Hero 3 thing, or the Guitar Hero Metallica thing, for that whole goddamn record. And I promise you, it is 500 times better. But at the same time... Uh, sorry, I've been rambling on. It's okay. We all, yeah, I, th- yeah. I think all, all of us are guilty now. We probably do have to go a little bit quicker for this first round, but that's okay. Yeah. I'll be very, I'll be very brief just to say every single um, criticism that's been said so far is accurate. The mixing was wildly different, and I think that was just part of the way we had to get rid of Bob Rock, and we have to do something 180, flip it all over. Bob Rock news also today. Boy, that's a totally different story, though. Um, I have to say with Metallica, though, and Death Magnetic, it felt like James, especially James, had life again. You could hear his delivery come through on All Night Air Long and all these other songs. I could feel Metallica breathing again. And it gets the lightest thumbs up because this is album has songs you can come back to, as opposed to St. Anger is one of the few albums that ever gave me a headache. Like, literally listening to it going, 
that. So, and I get it. It is praised much more because it came after St. Anger. But that's Metallica in a nutshell. Metallica is beloved for every new album they drop until it's forgotten about or everything. So that's kind of the problem. Metallica is beloved for every new album. Every every album they drop after St. Anger, it kind of gets away from the fact that Metallica hasn't been truly great since the Black Album. Yes, yeah, and that I came out the year I was born even, in 1991. Even that, that, even that, I wouldn't argue necessarily. It's <laughs> only been least, 30 years, okay. guys. Give them some time. Okay, 31, like, but who's again, counting? I, I'd say, like, compared to the last few albums Slayer put out, or how about the last few Megadeth records? Y'all remember Superconductor? Uh, do you remember Megadeth's release last year? I heard it. See, I didn't even catch that. I didn't even... Uh, I didn't either. There, there's, a sol- the there's a song Maybe called... To other thrash bands, we should. I mean, touche, yeah. touche. There's lots out There's there. There's a folks. lot of good ones. There's lots All out right. there. The poll ends with thumbs up, sixty four percent. Ooh, see, I'm surprised by that. I figured we'd get more. Almost more a t- almost there, a two third but... split. So you know what? There we okay. go. Thank that. Well, I that is a fair suggestion. We have not done that one before, so I actually did like that one. So, yeah, I did too. Thank yeah. you all very much. Keep the suggestions coming. Thank you very much. More like snare anger. (laughs) (laughs) Didn't I make that joke in my sane anger video 11 years ago? Hasn't everyone made that joke (laughs) since the album came out 20 something years ago? Goodness. Pretty much. (laughs) Does that album have snare on it? If you listen close, if you listen close, if you listen real close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, literally 20 years ago. 2003. (laughs) I, I can check. I was going to make the joke. Did the mailman question you when you dropped it off at your front door? Uh, oh, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. Like, uh, you, have no, you, you have no idea. I'm how getting hard a new route. The, you have no idea how hard it was finding a reasonable Crash, price. I, I hope you didn't pay too, too much money for that. Yeah. Uh, I, I got lucky. I'll just put it this way. I got okay. real lucky. Okay. <laughs> Our next one is song versus song. and It's a... We haven't done it before, but I'll put it up there just because I landed on it. I'll try to be fair. Weezer's Beverly Hills versus Nickelback's Rockstar. Ah, uh, this is the homie pointed this one right at me. Is that <laughs> why? All right. Well. Yeah, oh, I got I got history with both of these. Yeah. Uh, I, I, to, to be fair, I, I know, do I too. See I was where his head's five. At. Yeah. I see where yeah. his head's at, though. I see what yeah. he's. Excuse me. I see what he's getting at. Yeah, I do. All right, Beverly Hills. One, two, three. Really? Yeah. Okay. okay. Rockstar. Okay. One, two, three. I think I'll it's somebody. Would you. Rockstar yeah. actually does have guitar work, and they're trying to do something, even if I don't like it. They, I can tell they're trying. I kind of kill Rockstar at karaoke. <laughs> you, you know, here for me, here's the big difference. You know, a band like Nickelback, they at least kind of sell it. I could see Nickelback at least doing some of the things that they, yeah, and you know, the they got some actual, yeah. Rock, yeah. I could see, I could see Chad Kroger doing a line of blow. I could, you know, yeah, like yeah. something I could, I'm sure has at least. I could see one. that oh, now. Yeah. yeah. I could Beverly see him Hill- a quesadilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what Taco Bell yeah. is that? <laughs> but, I'll have a quesadilla. But Beverly- but Beverly Hills is basically the exact same song, almost. It's about, oh, I want to be a rock star. I want to be a party guy. But it's so unconvincing coming no, out of Dan Rivers Cuomo. That's my big problem with he it. Wants to, just, yeah. It is a poser song. Harvard <laughs> boy <laughs> wants to be that guy? Really? Really? I'll be honest. I like both songs. I will be 100% uh, honest. I like both songs. I got... think Beverly Hills is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I think his delivery of it is what really actually makes it funny for me because it's so ridiculous. It, it is. That's, that's, fair. that's the that's whole. Fair. That's, the, that's what hooks me on it is the fact that it's Rivers in the music video at it's the so Playboy funny. Mansion and everything. It's oh, just no. ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'm with, with you, John, because like I, I don't hate Beverly Hills the way I feel like I'm supposed to. Yeah. Uh, like it, it hits that stupid paradigm where it turns around to being like, okay, yeah. if I'm drunk enough, I can appreciate this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a certain kind of stupid that gets that, which, in my opinion, goes past that paradigm and is, becomes unlistenable. My go-to is Fergalicious, which came out the same Jeez. year. Oh, yeah. Anger. 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 What a year. (laughs) (laughs) 
Wow, no kidding, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. how do we how do we punish Beverly Hills and just punish Weezer in general for this? We send Rivers Cuomo back to the Playboy Mansion. He has to stay there until he thinks about what he did. Is that punishment? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that kind of sounds all right. right. For, uh, see, uh, no, but for Rivers, for Rivers Cuomo, who seems like the kind of guy who barely leaves his house, like <laughs> the social true. anxiety alone yeah. would be terrifying yeah. enough, you know. Uh, Take away his Discord server, and he gets, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say he has to go to the Playboy Mansion, and he has no internet connection, yep. no yeah, Wi-Fi, nothing. There there he has to talk. There we go. That makes sense. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, ma'am. I, you're very pretty, but do you know the Wi-Fi password? You know. See in that. See in this scenario, I feel worse for the bunnies than I do. Uh, I guess. Uh, uh, all right. These are concerts every night. Acoustic sets. Yes. <laughs> all right. CDP, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the that's his material too. Yeah, I made spring, summer, fall, winter. Huh? Uh, as we move on, band versus band. Queens of the Stone Age versus Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now, have we done this before? No. I don't think I so. Not I that matchup. So. I don't think so either. So. I don't believe Damn. so. Damn. Mm. It is an interesting one. I mean, in the same ballpark. Where their heads at? Yeah. I, make, I, I get it. So Two of my all-timers, man. That's a tough one. Does mm. everyone have a uh, choice? Yes. I do. Okay. okay. Queens of the Stone Age. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. And Red Hot Chili Peppers. One, two, three. I mean, y'all, I kind of had to for this one. You know? I guess. Yeah. I yeah. For sure. I, 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 yeah, I, 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 I'm not it's questioning. Very, very yeah, I'm not me. questioning. Crash mm. for the Red Hot Chili Pepper defense. Again, with me, again, Red Hot Chili Peppers, from the basic standpoint, again, with the way they integrated, helped integrate funk rock into into the mainstream, the way they kind of helped new metal and other sort of genres that implied that more funkier edge, the way they brought it along just kind of helped things with them. They've had a bunch of fantastic musicians in their ranks over the years. Hillel Slovak, um, Flea, of course, behind the bass, and uh, John Frusciante, just so many gorgeous so many gorgeous records and so much wonderful history but again it, it kind of edges out for me because i've got the uh you know i've got the personal connection like the red hot chili peppers are literally one of my favorite bands like what the first song i ever learned back to front on guitar was under the bridge like yeah. i'm sorry Fair i enough. got history with these guys that's just how it be yeah i'll be quick on mine queens of the stone age i feel at their best, our untouchable albums are back-to-back -back masterpieces, like from beginning to end. They have more of that with fewer albums than Red Hot Chili Peppers. And also, Queens at their worst, I still feel is not nearly as bad as Red Hot Chili Peppers at their worst. Those are the two deciding arguments. I have only seen one band live, so I'm not putting that into effect. I've seen Queens live. I have not seen Red Hot Chili Peppers live, mm. so that's a little bit different mm. for me, too. But that's just where I put my mind into that. I've helped enjoyed more complete albums from Queens of the Stone Age, you know, even like like Clockwork and things like that too, over as many full loving listens to Red Hot Chili Peppers albums. That's it. That's why I'm basing off that. So, Mark, why don't yeah. you go next? I'm also going to keep this quick. Um, I think Queens of the Stone Age is measurably better. Even the Chili Peppers albums I really, really like from the 80s, they don't really match the best albums that I get from Queens of the Stone Age, like Lullabies to Paralyze, like Clockwork, um, Songs for the Deaf. I don't think it's close. Um, and the and Chili Peppers at their worst... Um, the Chili Peppers at their worst are so tedious. Um, at least... When Queens of Stone Age aren't good, they're interesting. Again, even I'll agree with that. I get that. Yeah, John, mm. why don't you go? Because I know that both of these bands are close to you too. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. So I, w I would not agree with that as far as like the Chili Peppers. I know we differ on the 2010s material from the Chili Peppers, but I think the Cling Offer era was pretty damn great in its own right. But uh, Queens of the Stone Age, just kind of like you were saying, Luke, mm. I think it's kind of the front to back experience thing, and I've always really loved how collaborative that band is too, because it's not just Josh. It's not one permanent anchored lineup forever there's been yeah. so many people on an album like like clockwork there's so many guests that do 
small roles, but like really important things. And that's kind of always how it's been with Queens. You look back to Songs for the Deaf, you got Mark Lanigan in there. There's, a, and Nick Oliveri, of course, as well. Uh, Queens don't have a bad album. And yes, that includes Felons for me. So that's that's where I'm at. It just comes down to the full album experience. I get that. Fair enough. And these are good suggestions. I think Red Hot Chili Peppers need to... What's a good What's a good punishment for them for this one? For Shantae's leaving again? Oh, I mean, that's fair. Well, they're not getting, they're not <laughs> getting Josh back this time. Can, yeah. Especially after Canteen Dream. Yeah, you know, hey, yeah. that was a great album. Sorry. <laughs> you're, you're well, and you're welcome <laughs> to it. I just don't <laughs> feel the yeah, same. No. Great. Better than your Unlimited Love. Mm-hmm. I'm... I'm, but, I'm, I've, I've flipped on that. I like Unlimited Love more, but still, that's, that's just kind of the same. So I love yeah. them both, though. Fair, regardless. <laughs> it's fair. It's good suggestion. That was a good suggestion too. I did like that. You guys are, you, you guys are doing good. You guys are all playing nice in the chat. Thank you very much. Yeah, not, not saying too many shenanigans, y'all. We appreciate it. It's too sincere. awkward. Very much appreciate it. And Celebrate with hitting the like button. How, what are we at right now? Good We're at one fifty four. One fifty four. Man, mm, I feel like that's a little better. low. Could do mm. way better, y'all. I bet we could creep it up to two hundred, yeah. two hundred maybe. I mean, there's well over two hundred people watching right now, so yeah, we could. Easy, so. y'all. Come now. All right, I stopped on the next one. I don't like it, but I'll do it. Oh no, <laughs> Black Veil Brides versus Skillet. Oh, mm. really? I, one of this those? is this is a, a red state radio station festival lineup. The making of it. <laughs> It's the second trailer park tour like Skillet did oh, a few God. years ago. <laughs> oh, like they play in the middle of nowhere. I remember that. Like literally yeah. middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were playing like drive-in theaters. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was fun. It was weird. <laughs> so Black Veil Brides. One, two, three. See, this kind of breaks my heart because once yeah. upon a time. I know. I, I know. Once. And Skillet. One, two, three. It would be very easy for me to, it's so easy to just pretend that the last, oh, decade of Skillet doesn't exist. And boy, oh boy, would this whole decision be so much easier, but I can't. I'll say this though with Skillet, the good stuff was great in that 2006 to 2010 era. Even the weaker stuff was still fine. It's just flooded down with so much awful. And then the last five years where John Cooper has gone nutter butter crazy, it's hard to defend either. I just yeah. know for a fact I've gone back to more Skillet than I have Blackville Brides. Like there's, I stand by. There's one solid album with Blackville Brides. One. Yeah. So. Which one? Uh, Wretched and Wretched Divine. Wretched and Divine. The 20- yeah, yeah, the 2012. Yeah. One. yeah. So. <laughs> that, that that's the only answer anyone's ever going to give for that too. So. Uh, all that's right. The only song I ever remember from them, frankly. <laughs> and Crash for the support of Blackville Brides. Yeah. See, once upon a time, I totally would have gone Team Skillet too. But yeah. like you mentioned, like you mentioned, Luke, like John's more recent outshocks in his, yeah, the way he's kind of to me, because I had fun with those old Skillet records too. Like Collide was yeah. seriously one of my faves in high school. You could not get me to stop listening to that record. But here's the thing: since John has gone full mask off, it colors a lot of that past catalog in a different light to me. Because one of the things, even when I was defending Skillet to non-Christian audiences, one thing I would always, one comment I was always get back is Crash. This is so preachy. This is so preachy and so up its own ass. And I'm like, I mean, I kind of get it, but like, it's not meant to be that bad, you know. I've met I've met John in person a few times. They're lovely people. It's not like that. And then John decided to take his mask off and show us all it is like that. Actually, yes, and. Yeah, it, it ruins the past experience for me. I feel like a mark, you know, which I totally was because I was eighteen. I was a dumb teenager. <laughs> Speaking but, of, yeah. yeah, I get it, John. Why don't yeah, you go ahead? Yeah. Um, I'm kind of like Crash in the sense that you know we were both Christian school kids, so Skillet mm-hmm. was See, yeah, readily it was all around. Over. You were allowed all to be right. you were allowed to be heavy with that band, yeah, yeah right. That, that, yeah, well, I actually still wasn't allowed to listen to Skillet, <laughs> even Skillet? though they were Christian. Jeez. 
Oh, yeah, they were too. They were too loud man. and heavy and of the devil somehow. Uh, still, you but, know, no, I wasn't uh, allowed to listen to POD, so I feel you there. Man. Yeah, yeah, it was just the weirdest <laughs> stuff sometimes. But uh, it, those old albums, even the ones that I did like back in those days, I've gone back to a few of them, like Collide, and they are in desperate need of a remaster. Um, uh, <laughs> fair, Black big Phil, problem too. They're rough. They, they Blackfield are... Brides. Not that I can say that much more for them, and I'm not going to be sitting here praising their amazing <laughs> production on their records. <laughs> Anything, We've but... barely talked about Black Veil Brides, and they're the one yeah. one. Yeah, well, I, yeah know. I know, right? This is I'm a blowing... hard one. This is a hard one. Yeah. I'm blowing smoke over here. I got nothing. Okay. Mark, <laughs> anything you want to save the conversation with? Because we're all kind of scratching our heads right now. I didn't like either of these bands. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's kind of the problem. I, I went back to Skillet after both before they went mask off. I didn't think the music was good then. Like, I... <laughs> I mean, I, I get it. No, this I is not. more of a metal background. If you want to talk about metal, I'm like, Nightwish is right friggin' there. And there's oh, more music. Oh, yeah. The hooks are better. If you want to go all symphonic, I have better options. But um, Awaken Alive, bro. Yeah, but, but you can listen to this in front of your mom and she won't get mad. Yeah, yeah but does Nightwish talk about Jesus between songs? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, they have a female drummer, so they're pretty progressive. Oh, that poor girl. Uh, that poor girl. You know she wants out. You know she wants out. <laughs> oh, so, God. The one point I will say in favor of Black Veil Brides here is that uh, they're generic. I think that's the big thing you can say about Black Veil Brides. They're not really interesting. Yeah. But they're not offensive either. No. Yeah, not yeah, usually. They ex they, yeah, well, until you see them live. So, <laughs> yeah, I caught them at okay. Warped Tour one year. That was not. <laughs> <Me> too. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Never had the privilege. We will go with that. Like, yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, punish Skillet. Um, John Cooper has to go on MSNBC and just get grilled. Just like legitimately grilled by people. No, I, I know. Perfect. I have it. I have it. Go ahead. He has to be the one on Fox News to issue the apology that they for have. Dominion. To for now Dominion. That they lost the Dominion. Now they had to settle the Dominion. He has to be the motherfucker to get on camera. But he has make to do it in song. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Fox News. Oh, that, yeah. that is good. That, is that punishes some, us. That doesn't punish that him. <laughs> that is going to be some Aaron Lewis. Yeah. That is going to be some friggin' Todd is going to have to cover that on his year end list. Yeah. New I know. Game <laughs> song is out, by the way. I know. Yeah. I know oh, Fox. Yeah. I know Fox News lost $787 million and had to make up for it. But you know who has more money? God. The Lord. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, that's uh, you know, a voting machine you can never beat? Jesus. Hi, but muted. Okay, no sound at all. Apparently. Can you guys hear us now? Okay. Should be fixed. Should hello, be fixed. hello, hello, hello. Sibilance, sibilance. I thought you said something else. Completely crash. I'm going to oh. be honest. <laughs> there we go. Welcome back. Sounds good. Yes. Okay. We've never I hear you now. Okay. Hey, I think we're back. I right. think we're back. We we have never had a suggestion so bad that it crashed my computer. Well, your your computer just this, outright rejected that. You know how oh. bad that is? Like, legitimately awful? Even One in a million. Even your computer mm. hates John Cooper, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much for your patience. Please, please, please give this a like and also share the link out because we probably lost some viewers on that. Yeah, yeah. that's going to hurt. That's going to yeah. hurt, unfortunately. Pile, but... it, pile it back in, guys. Let's yeah, go. Let's Blast bring it, it in, homies. Let's bring it in. Get anything you can out. do. Anything you can do helps. Anything you can do helps. So. We'll go. How long was that? Like five, at least. That five was like minutes. five yeah. minutes. We were. We'll do an extra round. five on. We'll the do first an extra round. five on the first round. Yeah, for sure. I'm backing up all the super chats. They all saved. I just want to make sure. Good. 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 Yeah. So that would have been a bigger disaster. So da, 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 thank yeah. you guys again. We do appreciate that. Yeah. 
We apologize. It can't be helped. Sometimes this shit just yeah, happens. Yeah, this is only the second time that I know of where like a true crash like that. And this time we were able to pick right back up. So you know what? Yeah. We'll yeah honestly, it. yeah, we haven't had too many of those. So yeah. okay. call it an early intermission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> that was planned. That was planned. Okay. <laughs> and stop. Song versus song. Well, this is lovely. This is a, a nice little surprise. Flagpole Sitta by Harvey Danger versus You Get What You Give by New Radicals. Keep in mind, if you vote wrong, I'll just kick you off the screen. All right. Oh, I know. Oh, I no. Know, <laughs> I know what this answer is, too. I don't care, I don't oh, care either way. Vote for whatever you want. <laughs> I'm feeling pressured to vote a certain way. Oh, no, no. I want you to I be honest. Like my, I feel like my vote might rock the boat here. I don't know. I, want I you feel to be like honest. I might get what I, I give. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this, is a hard, this is a harder one for me. It really is. This is peak 98, by the way. Peak 98. Yes. You know? Yeah. Oh, yep. ninety-eight. Oh. Okay, Mark, you got a choice. Oh yeah. Okay, good. Everyone else. All I right. Think uh, I think I think. Okay, in the order they're on. Flagpole sit up. One, two, three. Don't hurt me. Fair. No, no, I'm yeah, not gonna be mad. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad. Uh, okay. I yeah. No, you get okay. what you give. I, One, two, three. John, I was almost right there with you, though. Is the mm. thing I, this was close almost? For me. Almost. This, we don't have almost. to go. We don't have to go around the horn on this one. The lyrical snark and late '90s cheese writing lyrics is so strong in both songs. So so strong in both songs. It's just the melody and the hook within how good you get what you give is. See, yeah, so. th that they pull out every single stop for you get what you give you get mm -hmm. what you give is a song that defines that whole year yeah mm -hmm. flagpole flagpole said again flagpole said as much as i love that song sure just okay i'll put it this way that uh the harvey danger record as a whole is much much better than the new radicals album as a whole i'll put it that way because like don't yeah. listen to that whole record <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Luke. I, I know. I'm sorry. I, I know you got. Oh, I talked about. That, I talked but... about before. There are songs on there that are embarrassing. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, embarrassingly absolutely. good. <laughs> <laughs> embarrassingly yeah. amazing to cry to at night. <laughs> anyone else? Anyone else have they want to win for this one? I mean, flagpole set up for me. It's just. I mean. There's just such a sense of melodrama there. The way that their vocalist sells it is just, it's too yes. ridiculous for me not yes. to love. I, I get it. It, it, I is get the it. More, it is the more clever song. I gotta yeah. give it up yeah. the lyrics on that song. They are I remember much hearing that on the radio, like on rock radio when I was a kid, and I was like, whoa, this is this is different. Okay, yeah. what's this? It is, and it is, too, and it still is. Uh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Love that song. Yeah. Anyone else? No, no, Mark, no you got any here. thoughts? Not really. Um, I, you get what you give. It just has a better melody to it. it it's a better, stronger hook overall. It's one that I actually remember more often. I will actually seek out more often for as often as I seek out any of them. Mm -hmm. I get that. So da -da -da -da. let's see how we're at. Please keep sharing out the link. We're down a few viewers from last time. And that crash is not your fault, but it does help. So thank you guys very much. Yeah. How do we punish Harvey Danger? Do we have to find out where he is first? I, you got to run it up the flagpole and see. I guess. <laughs> he yeah. is sick and he's not well. <laughs> there. Uh, uh. All right. And stop. Album versus album. I, if We'll skip this if you guys have not both heard the albums. This is uh, tw 2019 versus 2020 albums too. Slipknot's We Are Not Your Kind versus Deftones' Ohms. Ooh. See, okay. haven't, we, haven't we all reviewed these records? And we have all of us so. in various ways. I believe so. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we might get called out if we don't say our right answers. <laughs> <laughs> I you have all my remember which, where you put them I on really your No, I do remember. Thankfully, I do remember mine. So I'm happy. <laughs> so, everyone have an answer? Mm. Yeah. All righty. Mm. We are not your kind from Slipknot. One, two, three. Gotta give it to yeah. I love Deftones yeah. Ohms too, but Slipknots. And then Deftones mm. Ohms, one, two, three. I'm out here by myself tonight a lot. I know, it's twice <laughs> in a row. Hey, I <laughs> love Ohms. Oh, so. oh. John, any defense for Ohms? Oh, yeah, we can go quick I mean, on this too. Shit. Uh, Ohms is, they're very close for they me. Are. I mean, like, I love both of those albums. I honestly went with Deftones here because I knew that 
I had a feeling I would be alone and I needed to have one vote in their favor. I love that album. I really do. I actually just listened to it the other day when I was at the gym. And both of those are actually great gym albums in different ways. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. It's just something about the guitar performances on that record in particular that really stood out. I mean, I believe it was uh, uh, Stephen Carpenter played like an eight stringer on a lot of those songs. It's just got such a thick, crushing... I don't know. Deftones probably shouldn't be that good that far into their career, but that album really does take the cake for me. Mm-hmm. I'll be brief. Love Deftones, love Ohms. Even if Steph Carpenter is a flat earther and anti-vax- uh, anti-vaxxer, he can play that guitar. He can shred yep. on that guitar. Again. I love Deftones, yeah. but at the same time, We Are Not Your Kind was my favorite album that year. It is nice the definition true. of vicious. It's so clear and so well presented with that attitude. And there's songs on there I still go back to, like Nero Forte and Critical Darling, that just hold up so well. And this is coming from someone that loved Ohms. So that's just me slipping up for that one. Mark, anything for slipping up? Not a lot to say on this one. I'm not a huge fan of either album. I think that uh, We Are Not Your Kind to me sticks out a little bit more. Like it's got a little bit more to it that I would go back to. I'll be honest, I have barely touched Ohms in, since 2020. Okay. Like I think that album came out at a time where I'm like, there's so much else I would rather listen to around that time. Like there was a clipping album and a mountain goats yeah. album that I listened to around that same time. I'm like, yeah, like that is way more impressive to me. Or also at the same time as that small bird album that me and crash would know about. Mm, so. See, yeah, mm, that was a good one too. I, yeah, I see where you're coming from with that. Absolutely. And crash. Small was... bard albums were... We need more from small bard. I, we do. That. We really do. And crash. But, was uh, up. I can keep mine real short and simple for you. Ohms was great. I loved Ohms. Again, it was another standout late era classic for them. We Are Not Your Kind is may arguably one of the best records Slipknot has ever made. I it's think it's like, their best album. Yeah, see, it's <laughs> it is debatable. I know this sure. is a very, very heated, debatable topic, but oh, like the Slipknots are gonna take a dump on this comment section. I can just see that. I may have damned us with that, but like it's, uh, it, it's a you could make a very a damn solid case for it. Sure, like, you know that's that's okay. really all I have to add to that. Okay. Like, yeah, all the punishment I want to make for Deftones is you have to sit down Steph Carpenter and teach him like eighth third grade earth science. Sit him. That's it. Give give Hank Green thirty minutes with the guy. We'll take care of it. <laughs> Hank Green. <laughs> Hank Green. Hank Green will take care of him. You don't got to worry about it. Uh, it was a good suggestion. I just remember, like, also the time frame. 2019, that album, Slipknot, was such a big deal. Ohms came out during mm. quarantine when we were yeah. all sitting at home listening to music and trying not to cry over news coverage of elections and riots and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, boy, time flies, right, gentlemen? Mm. Good. It's- That's it, it does something. <laughs> yeah, it sure does move. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We may have done this one before. Please let me know if we have or not. We'll skip it. Evanescence versus Hailstorm. We've done that one. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. We've done that on the back one, so we're going to skip it. So here's another band versus band. I don't think we've done this one. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Strokes versus White Stripes. We've done that one. I've done it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've done this one. Yeah. As we keep going. That one I did not remember. And stop. Interesting. Okay. Song versus song. Teardrops by Bring Me the Horizon versus Lost by Linkin Park. The uncovered song that just came out from Meteora. I get why. Yeah. I haven't heard the new one yet. I'm sorry. Oh. Skip it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I haven't gotten around to it. I'm sorry. Teardrops. Y'all, y'all, can, y'all, can, y'all can step in and do this one without me, though. Fair enough. Okay. okay. And we can't. We'll do it really quick. Thumbs up, thumbs down. He, um. The Strokes. One, two. Wait, wait what? what? Wait. We'll do it real. Do you guys want to skip it or you just want to keep going? Do this one. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah. Okay. Very fair. Spirit Box versus Code Orange. Ooh. Ooh. I applaud Ooh. that one, sir. That's yeah. All, yeah. Good choices. Hot tamale. Ooh. By the way, Spirit Box just dropped a new song today. They did. They of did. course, I forgot to. I forgot to listen to it. Damn it. It's okay. Sp- mm. Regardless of that, this is just general. Spirit Box versus Code Orange. Good choices. I'm kind of split myself. So yeah. I'm torn on this one for sure. Uh, okay. okay. I, I, I think yeah. I've got my answer. I have an answer. And I can't choose both. I got, there's only room for one on the raft. So mm. 
All yeah. Right. Everybody? Okay. okay. Yep. Okay. Spirit box. One, two, three. It hurts. It hurts to do this. Really? I'm the only one? God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Code orange. <laughs> one, two, sorry. three. That's a big sorry. Yeah. That's it, not fun uh, to yeah. do. Not fun I, to I, do. You know, I don't even blame you. I don't even I, blame yeah. you because I'm, yeah, but, oh. Go ahead for spirit box of the defense. Okay, here's the thing. I love Code Orange. Code sure. Orange kicks ass. I am not about here to talk smack about Code Orange. Code Orange is kick. Code Orange is wonderful. I am a bitch for melody, though. I am a bitch for beautiful soundscapes. I am a bitch for stuff that's atmospheric and pretty. And spirit box as heavy as they can get, they can bring those pretty moments too. They really, really can make the music glisten as well as scream. Code Orange is a great scream. It's great raw. It's great. It's a juggernaut of aggression and power. Are they quite as well as Spirit Box does it. And you know, I'm just I'm a I just love that pretty shit. And they do that pretty shit a little bit better, in my opinion. That's Fair. all that pushed it over for me. Fair. Fair. Uh, Mark, you want to go for Code Orange? You know, Crash made a really good point about the prettiness side of Spirit Box. Mm -hmm. But I will say this. Um, even despite my production issues that come on, I believe it was underneath. Neath. Their yeah. most yeah. recent full. Yeah. yeah. The most recent yeah. one in 2020. Um, Forever is so good. Mm -hmm. uh, Yes. In terms of it, forever is their that's, defining that's their album. Best. That's their best. It, yeah. is, it, it hurts, hurts to push that aside. And produce that. And I, I'll be the one to say it. I think Code Orange are better writers in um, terms of like yeah. actual. There's a difference. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. I'm Fair. totally yeah. with you on that. Yeah. Yeah. John, why don't you go for Code Orange? Yeah, Forever is just that body of work right there. I mean, as much as I really did love Eternal Blue, and I get what Crash was saying. I mean, the title track off of that album is exactly what you were describing, like yes, the beautiful right. but heavy glistening yes. type of thing. But uh, I, I don't know. That answer might change with more Spirit Box material because Code Orange did put out that single after Underneath that I thought was really rough. The, uh, the Alpha new metal Blood one. one. Yeah, Alpha Blood, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, they've made some questionable choices, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they lost a member at some point in the past couple of years. Like yeah. someone left the band or something like that. I could be I could be thinking of somebody else, that but I'm curious. Know. I'm curious to see how the next couple of albums will go because mm -hmm. both of these bands have so much potential to be like in it for the long haul. One hundred percent. First of all, do a tour together, both bands. Yeah. Ever oh my gosh, I would, yes. I would go to that. Yeah, I would. Too. Instant get. Instant so, get. And the other thing mm -hmm. is, I love Spirit Box. I just talked about Spirit Box today when I put a short out, just reacting to the new song. Code Orange, when we were talking about Forever. Listen to Forever and see how versatile Code Orange is with so many different styles on one short album. See yeah, it's how much really they, short, but it's yeah, just there's gets so its knives much, into you. So much mm. to like dissect. Underneath was a lot heavier. This like they indulge industrial on that. The same time though, Code Orange it had such atmosphere and stuff like that, and in these albums and just individual songs, Spirit Box, not to their blame or discredit, they just haven't had enough material to showcase yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. So it's a That's little awesome. unfair in that. But at the same time, I love both, so I would just give that to Code Orange by default almost. You know what I think it is that's pushing me over the edge here. I've heard uh, the when Courtney LaPlante and her uh, and the other guy uh, from yeah, Spirit Box from when they were in I wrestled the I wrestled there once, yeah. That, yeah. yeah, see their material when they fair. were in that band. I get that. Really good. I get yeah, that. Yeah, so you so. see the roots and where they yeah. came where from, they where they're headed. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, so. How do we punish Spirit Box? Because I don't want to. I don't mm. want to. Make them record with Nick Rascal Linux. Repeat that. No, I. Oh god! They didn't record with Nick Rascal Linux, the guy who produced Underneath for Code Orange. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, that's fair. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. That's that's not too bad. That's not because yeah. even Code Orange got a decent record out of it. You know, so I, yeah, I liked under. Survive. Oh, I liked Underneath, but it was very. Good I did too. Me. So they could probably survive. It was very good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we'll go one more because of the blue, the blue screen. Blah 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 blah. I appreciate all you sticking around for that. Thank you guys so much. We're almost back up to over 200. Almost. Da, 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 da. And stop. Ooh, topical, because Foo Fighters just announced their upcoming album and a new song today. Ooh. Foo Fighters right. album versus album. There is nothing left to lose versus Echo, Silence, Patience, and Grace. Oh, I haven't heard Echo, Silence in a oh, long yeah, time. 
Oh, you have heard it though. Okay. Just I sure. have heard it, but not in a long ass time. I've heard the singles, but I don't think I've, it's been years since I've heard the whole thing. Let me look up what's yeah. on. Go for it. Go for it. That one definitely, well, I won't spoil. I have to, there is nothing left to lose. That's the one I'm thinking of. That's right? 90, that's that 99. On the back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's learn to fly. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to double check that. Yep. Okay. I got an answer. For okay. This. I do too. I do too. There's nothing yep. left to lose. One, two, three. Yeah. And Echo Silence, really, Patience, really Grace. Oh, okay. Yeah. Echo Silence, okay, Patience, yeah. Grace. One, two, three. There you go. Crash for ESPG. I. The thing is, with there's something left. There's nothing left to lose. A lot of that is a good singles record. Like the singles yes. from that album are very, very good. But I'm not a big fan of the deep cuts. Like that hmm. record kind of loses I get pace with me. After a while, you can tell they definitely put out the best songs. The best songs definitely were the ones that became singles, and there just wasn't much else to work with, in my opinion, at least. I'm sure y'all talk me out of that but here. But uh, but with Echo, Silence, Patience, and Grace, that record, at the very least, it is... That album's kind of 50-50. I adore about half of that record, and the other half is like, yeah, it's okay, it's a bit hit or miss i can take it or leave it but i feel like the ratio is just a little bit better on echo silence patience and grace i love 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 about half of that record okay. i just like the singles off of there's nothing left to lose just it is. go ahead John. see i'm the i'm like the exact opposite i think that the the whole singles thing applies to echoes for me really? like because like i think well some of my favorite songs ever from the foos let it die the pretender mm -hmm. are on that album yeah. but on There's Nothing Left to Lose, you've got Headwires, which I think is an incredible song. Generator, where he's using like the talk box thing. I think that there's a lot of really, really great deep cuts on there, actually. So that's that's my only beef with your take on it, Crash. I really do like a lot of the deep cuts on that album. And I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's not ov too overly long. They didn't overindulge on There's Nothing Left to Lose. And I feel like Echoes gets a little too... I don't know, like it abstract in places. It kind of, it kind of like zooms in and out. And there went my camera. <laughs> oh no! Now you're frozen. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, Hang and on. see, oh, Luke, you didn't see this, but when you were frozen, you were frozen in just like the perfect angle. It oh, could have been a profile thing. Like, you looked gorgeous for the. Yeah, it looked like a yearbook photo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Man, no, John. John's frozen face was like, he was literally doing this. Yeah, Mark, like why don't you, a wall. Mark, why don't <laughs> you go for There's Nothing Left to Lose while we're waiting? I'll keep this short. Um, these are two albums I do not go back too much when it comes to Foo Fighters. Okay. Um, so my general thinking with this is that There's Nothing Left to Lose has songs I would go back to mm. more on their own. Fair. It's also shorter. Um, I think it holds up a little better. Okay. My opinion on this one is I get both sides of this. The singles on There's Nothing Left to Lose, I just feel stand out are more associable with Foo Fighters as a band yeah. and an entity a little bit more than Echo Silence, Patience, Grace, because that just skyrocket. Foo Fighters were already a big name. They had skyrocketed way past mainstream at that point with that with Learn to Fly, which is still played in movie soundtracks and TV shows and stuff like that. So, Great song. I, yeah, also yep. break. Uh, Breakout or Breakdown is so such a fun, dumb music video. I always have a soft spot for that, too. But. See, that is a good one. That is a so, very good one. Love them both. Um, Punishment. This new album has to have more than two entertaining, good singles. Ooh. Yeah. Please. Yeah, please. I mean, fingers and crossed. This is one that, this is coming from someone that really enjoyed their previous album, but even I admit, they didn't have that many great standout songs on it, so... There's one yeah. song, the, the album closer, Love Dies Young. I think that song is still great. And That's I, good. I don't know it's shine. Cloud Spotter mm. was a good one. That was a deep cut, but yeah. at the same Making time. Making a Fire, I really enjoyed. I enjoyed that album, actually. I More liked than, it, too. Uh, yeah. I, I was the odd man out. I was the one that was just kind of... I was, just kinda was very man. mid on it, too, but there was, like, two songs I liked. I think Shame, Shame is crap, but, like... Yeah. That was the yeah. worst yeah. single. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you on that. I, I remember us all dumping on that song, and then the album's like, oh, yeah. look at this. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad the, the whole yeah. album wasn't Shame, Shame. No, it was not. Yeah. Not even close. That would have been weird if it was. Yeah, yeah. All right. We are... Right at halftime right now. We went a couple extra just because of the blue screen. Thank you guys for sticking with us yeah. through that rough, tumultuous time where we were down in the dumps for that. Thank you guys. We're back over 200 again. Thank you for that as well. Yeah. So we're going to take a quick two minute break. Um, if you guys need to take a break, go to the bathroom, go for it now. I need to go to the bathroom. I've had to go for about 30 minutes. So 
Who does not need to go to the bathroom? All right, I'm gonna run to the bathroom okay. as well. So whoever's whoever's <laughs> um, staying, yeah. you get to entertain everyone. Say right. whatever oh, no. you want. Perfect John, time for my new stand-up we're putting, routine. A, we're putting a lot of trust in you here, homie. Yeah, clearly. All right, guys. So what do we want to talk about today? Hmm. So uh, I've been working on my yard. Uh, did a little lawn work today. Uh, you know, just cleared out some of the brush in my woods. Really exciting stuff. <laughs> I guess now that we're sitting here and it's just me entertaining all of you beautiful people for the moment, I will let you know that May next month is the 10 year anniversary for my show seven on Sunday. So uh, to celebrate that, I'm going to be putting out like remastered, like as in like I'm redoing them or else sequel episodes on some of the most beloved episodes over the years. So I'm excited about that. I've been taking a little bit of a mental health break lately, but I'm feeling better. I think I'm on the upwards climb and uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything in the chat right now that I can speak to if there's any questions. Wait, this isn't Sunday. Yeah, what's up, Nunez? Oh, uh, man, I have never been left on one of these streams by myself. Thank you about the beanie compliment. I got that not that long ago at a story called Earthbound. I think it's eggplant colored. <laughs> Ten years, I know. I started it all the way back in 2013. It's hard to believe. And there's Luke, your host, who I was saying be some wonderful things. I had my wonderful headphones things. on most of the time, so I did hear what you said. So you're good. You're good. <laughs> seven on Sunday. Ten, seven reasons why Luke sucks. So, like, jeez. Seven God. reasons why Luke is a great guy and a good friend. Yes, exactly. That'll get the views. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just a big picture. I'll use the picture of Me you that was like... frozen for the thumbnail. <laughs> the frozen you, the one that we said looked like a yearbook photo. That'll yes. be the thumbnail. My year I don't know about you. My yearbook photos were so awkward and like just they were. these things. Oh goodness. You don't want to see mine. I yeah, know. they are so I'm the same. I'm rocking like bowl cuts and stuff. It's not great. See, I for some of them I had my <laughs> hockey jersey on because I played hockey for my school. Oh, nice. it was ugly and awkward. Hockey jerseys are not flattering, you know. No, so. yeah, I, I made some odd choices. We would, my friends and I, because we were at a small school and they would come and do picture day every year, so it would kind of be like a recurring joke that we would just wear ridiculous things. And I yeah. remember, you remember when Napoleon Dynamite was oh, like yeah. huge? Yeah, yeah. I, there's a picture of me in like sixth or seventh grade or something wearing a Pedro offers you his protection hoodie in my yearbook uh -huh. photo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nope. I, <laughs> To Crash and Mark, we're talking about bad yearbook photos. So, oh, okay. Uh. You know, I've shown y'all. I know y'all have seen my worst yearbook photo. I've shown. Yeah, when I was in like sixth grade. Ooh, I don't remember that. I don't. Well, I don't remember it me, either. I might have it somewhere. Let me double check something real, real quick. Let me see I've if I can find it. Go one. for it. This is a good time for it. While we're waiting for um, Crash's shenanigan. Is there anything either of you gentlemen would like to plug while we're at halftime? I did mine while you guys were away, so Smart. I'll leave the floor to Mark. Sure. Um, not really a lot for now in terms of stuff that is coming up in the future. I've got a little bit of a, uh, of a breather period in terms of albums. I want to get caught up on my schedule. Um, the big thing for me, if you guys have not seen this, I did an hour-long video essay specifically discussing Fall Out Boy's Save Rock and Roll, as I've described it as the comeback album that hates you. And I watched it in full. So many good points were made. So many good points. Yeah. So, so. I still not... like the album. Oh, here's the thing. It doesn't like me back. That's all. I know. I know. I was about to say, but it doesn't like me. That's the thing. I still like the album too. And that's the key point about all this. That's what makes it interesting and fun to discuss. And I also elaborate on my points around so much, for, so much for Stardust, which uh, I think me and John are the ones on the on ones the most on that. Yeah. 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 We did not uh, see it favorably. And I, I know you talked, touched on it at the end of that video. So yeah, definitely go check that out guys, because you go, you kind of cover Pretty much all of Fallout Boy in that video. I'll, I'll, yeah. Your thoughts on them? Yeah. Oh, S speaking of, what? so much for Stardust. Whoa! Crash Whoa. has the, Crash has the show and tell with vinyl today I, for this. I story. got it yeah. right here on vinyl. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh oh. 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 Uh -huh. you, you know. You know uh -huh. we are living in a. You know we are living in a weird time when I'm the one who likes the Fallout Boy record. 
<laughs> I am usually I'm usually the Fallout Boy hater of the group. I never I always come out swinging with these guys. See, I bought this because <laughs> it, they had it for sale. I think I told you guys that they had it for sale like almost a week early at my local record shop, and I just oh, bought that's it. Right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, uh, so now we're not, we're not just holding up. It. We're not just holding up vinyl we love. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 if we are, then boom. Hey, there he <laughs> is. <laughs> so, okay. John, I, I, John, did you wind up hearing the Metric album from last year? Yeah, it, well, it was on my albums list, my best oh, albums sweet. list. Awesome, great. So it was yeah. the same with mine. Good. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And, uh, they, they, they did it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so while Lucas... Um, okay. I'd, I, I'd have put Precious away, so... Of course, of course. <laughs> See him over there getting, like, oh. a duster out. <laughs> <laughs> since, since, we were talk since we were talking about it, if I said if I found it, I'd show it to you, and I found it. Okay. So check this out. Might not be able to see that. 95, 95. age 10. 5th grade. 5th grade. Oh. Y'all... Oh, check that out. Oh. I love oh, it. Oh, my goodness. I Isn't love it. That That's an... That is your album cover. Uh, <laughs> I love Mountain that? Dew and Sega Genesis. <laughs> Look at that Kentucky waterfall of a The mold. green album. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Someone was hitting the hash pipe. Oh. <laughs> God, yeah, 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 and you know, as, as ugly as that haircut is, I would kill to have that much hair again. Oh, well, I'll say. We all kind of would have Dude, been I like, feel that. I right. completely feel that. Okay, Absolutely. you can have your hair cut. You can have your hair cut. But this is your only style, and you can never change it. Eh, you know what's fair? I'll take it. I'll eh. take it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, figure, I'll figure out a way to make it work. I just you work around it. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it will go gray in an interesting way. That's, that's See, true in a very go. distinguishing way. That will, yeah. that will, I, I will be a distinguished gentleman. <laughs> I will... <laughs> I will absolutely, I will absolutely rock the um, the alt country circuit, rocking that mullet around. That's an alt country circuit. You got, country. you get a couple like a purple or green stripe down it. Yeah, you'd be mm -hmm. set. There, there you go. Yeah. There mm. we go. This is go white, like like that solid, like iron grace, like sh slightly shoulder line. That can look see, good. That can look good. That can look good. See, yeah. I see that working. Five hundred yeah. likes, and we all do that uh, look next year. Absolutely, five hundred likes. Like you got hair. it. it <laughs> I saw how I looked with long hair in 2021. I go back to those videos right now, and I'm like, I know I couldn't get a haircut because of the pandemic, but what was I thinking? Uh, I kind of think I that too to my old long hair videos, too. That's why I went short, because when I had long hair, it was so long on the sides, it was sticking out straight. I looked like a caveman. The thing. I it's had to cool. start over. I had to. Yep. So. Yep. And, so. and, and see, I'm the exact opposite. I'm regrowing my hair, what mm -hmm. little I can grow at this moment, because I just I got sick of the bald look. I just couldn't handle it. I get it. No. Yeah. It's, just, it's it's just not me. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to be what's his name, uh, strapping young lad. Um, yeah. Devin Townsend. Devin Townsend. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be Devin Townsend and just try to rock the skullet. I'm just gonna have to try. I can't do it any other way. <laughs> fair. Just That's doesn't fair. look right. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. All right, we are in round two. This is the super chat section. All Super Chats will be read at random. We'll get through as many as possible. We'll try to go through a little bit quicker. Keep in mind, every Super Chat will be answered on the document after. I backed them all up again. Don't worry. Nothing was lost, thankfully. Thank God. Uh, uh. So, everyone set? Yes. Some of, the, some of these are bonkers. Some of them are great, but some of them are bonkers. I saw some of so, these. Goodness. So, I'm, trying to, I'm yep. trying to keep it as random as possible. You know me. I actually do try to keep it honest and when i land on something so oddly enough we landed on a weezer one and it's two bands we just talked about um album versus album the vinyl you just held up so much for stardust by fallout boy versus weezer's everything will be all right in the end oh, oh wow oh Not even i see what you're doing yeah hmm. i see what you're doing there hmm. so everyone have an answer yep yep so much for Stardust. One, two, three. See, I bet he thought he had a curveball there. I think he did. I'm, but I'm you, sorry. When you get a good Weezer album, it, it's a little bit easier See? to stand out. Yeah. Everything mm -hmm. will be around right in the end. One, two, three. I, you know what? Anyone? I appreciate yeah. the attempt. I yeah. appreciate thinking yeah. outside the box a little there. Sure. Nah. A different nah. Weezer album? Maybe there would have been more argument. Maybe, but no. Nah. If it was a white album, I think there would be debate. Uh, see, Ooh, that would have been not a for me. conversation. <laughs> there would have been more of a debate by far. Well, yeah, yeah. I so, think white is a little better than who bait. 
Okay. You know, the thing is, you're not alone in that. Alone. That seems yeah. to be uh -huh. the more general consensus among Weezer fans, I think. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Good suggestion, though. I get it. Like, it's not, yeah. like, out of left field. So, thank you. Oh, crap. Let me see if I say it. I didn't read off the name. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, no. Tony um, Tay. Tony Tay. Thank you, Tony. Tony very Tay. Much. We Tony appreciate Tay. it, Tony. See, Tony. I'm not a failure. This isn't my first day. Oh, God. <laughs> We've only done 15 of these. Ish. Yeah, 15 ish. ish. Yeah. Ish. 15 and change. You know? Yeah, there you go. From Riley Hearts, this is a good one. Red Hot Chili Peppers, the Josh Klinghoffer era versus Blink 182, the Matt Skiba era. Oh, I saw that one when it came one. in earlier. I saw this one too. That, yeah, I was like, ooh, if this gets one. picked, this is going to be real interesting. This is a good one. So well done for that creativity on that. So does everyone have an answer? Because I'm still. Yeah. I'm I, think like, I, yeah. I think I do. I think I do. Okay. Yeah. In order. Yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Josh Klinghoffer era. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Half and half, all right. I, yeah, okay. Okay, and the Matt Skiba, Blink-182, one, two, three. Uh, people dog it, but I still say the Matt Skiba era was pretty solid with some of the stuff they I, had. I agree, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is a good one for a tie. because Yeah, really yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna yeah, make the poll. The you guys just go around. We won't go one by one. Just say whatever you want while I make the poll. I'll go real. I'll go real quick here. I well, I'm a huge defender of the Skiba era Blink. I think it got. A, I think it got a bad rap for California, especially. Like uh -huh, people yeah. were really, really down on it. I think it's a. I think it's aged better than a lot of people would think. You know, it's still very listenable. It's still good stuff overall. Production issues aside, it's not perfect by any means. I understand a lot of people foibles with it, but for me, it still sounds like good Blink. The thing is. Kling offers best moments like I'm with you and some of the some of the stuff some of the better covers they did with him. I know I'm not a big fan of the getaway, but their bigger moments with Kling offer were were head and shoulders above anything Skiba 182 did in my opinion. So I kind of got to give them credit for that. I just feel like they shine a little better when they do shine. They fall a little better when a little deeper when they fall, but it's just better overall when it's good. That's okay. I actually agree with you on that. I think the peaks of the of the Klingoffer uh, Chili Peppers eras are better. Um, I but I also think the Skiba era Blink One Eight Two is more consistent, and in my See, opinion, more mature. That's yeah. Fair. yeah mature that's fair. Blink that is, is a mature Blink is a weird flavor to have of Blink, but it, it exists. It's and, a weird flavor to have with Blink, but I kind of prefer to what they're doing now. Ooh, I mean, I gotta, yeah. Are we talking? Wait, are we talking about California, the album that had Bohemian Rhapsody on it and built this pool? I was gonna say, built this mature, pool was mature nine is seconds. relative. It built yeah, this pool was like I nine seconds. I throw that one out. So, if you want mature blink, go to neighborhoods. Go to Untitled. Yes, that I agree with. Did those albums that and they did them incredibly well. Yeah. Um, but as far as like the, uh, I'm sorry, I almost said for Shante, as far as the Klingoffer era mm. of the Chili Peppers goes, I really think what it came down to was what each of those guys that came into an existing band were allowed to do creatively, yeah. mm -hmm. because I think we all know that there were caps on their input. Yes. And yeah. I think that I just felt more of Klingoffer's influence, especially on the getaway where he had to, where he fought for control a little bit more. They got out from under Rick Rubin, where apparently he wasn't getting as much say. So I don't know. I'm I'm kind of a sucker for that era of the Chili Peppers. It's moodier. It's different. It's not as funk intensive. But uh, you know, I I still think that they did both did some great stuff with people that weren't seen as worthy replacements by unfortunately a lot of people. Fair. See, that's that's not fair to us. I get that. No, and, it's not. And they're both not. extremely talented individuals that just yeah. well, walked into a situation yeah. that wasn't it was going to be hard for them to transition into. Exactly. And I say this my thing for especially in California, not so much nine, but actually for California, you hear Matt Skiba's presence very strong and fits mm. so well to reinvigorate Blink-182 in some ways. Hearing him singing along with some of those songs, actually does add a new little bit of spice to that. And that's why I think that sinks out a little bit more. Nothing against Josh. I've defended some of his stuff before too, but that's just why I prefer that, mainly for California. But at the same time, that's it. That's why. So, we all see our pace. Yep. Ending the poll at Red Hot Chili Peppers winning with 62% of the votes. Interesting. Hell yeah. I get it. I'll I mean, I'm, I'm not going to argue that one, So, but yeah. So, Blink, your punishment, 
you better figure out what the heck you're doing for this next album. You're going yeah. on. Yeah. I'm, not, you're, I'm not a big fan of those singles. I'll just say it. I'll say this also. There's only been one. <laughs> there, uh, oh, 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 that's right. There's only the one. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, edging was not good. Edging, edging, edging was, was not good. It was, I, thought it was, not, it was, I thought it was fine. I think it's a good uh, single. I will say this, though, just as a heads up for Blink News. Arena Tour starts soon, and now that um, I don't remember who it is. Frank Ocean has bowed out of Coachella. Blink-182 has taken the spot. Oh, good he, luck. They already they, they luck, played last weekend, too, when Frank played. Well, they did, but the thing is, now they're replacing They're Frank. replacing. And oh, those they're going to be like the, the yeah. nighttime yes, headliner. Yes, actual yeah. headline, oh. closing out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, all those people that bought that... Wow. All those people that bought Frank Ocean tickets. I've already yeah. seen tons of people and, pissed. Oh, off. that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I feel for the fans on that one. You yeah. didn't sign up for Blink and you're getting Blink. I get it. Yep. Boy, is that a change, too, from Frank Ocean to Blink 182. That mood. They're going to cover right? all of Blonde. Yeah. Th their version of Bad Religion is going to be oh, real man. weird. What I actually would, maybe I would pay to see that now that I think I about it. Would would too. I'm yeah. Tune in. Worth it. I don't That'd know. Worth it. Blink do Pink and White or I, Solo. I don't know. Ooh, now, like, with Tom, and it's Tom and it's Tom DeLong doing it with the voice too. I Ooh, mean, yeah. oh. <laughs> Three minutes of that. All the ladies are gonna be in a mood that night at Coachella. Oh, oh right. Coachella right performance now. last weekend was good though. I will say. I, I was pleasantly that, yeah. surprised. I saw oh. Gorillas and Gorillas was great. So hmm. I'm a gorilla oh, sucker yeah. though. So eh. yeah. Okay. From Emperor Tiger Star, hey Emperor Tiger Star, U 2s Hold Me Thrill Me versus Chad Kroger's Hero. I, I'm so, I'm oh, sorry, is that now? supposed to be a contest? I read that as it was stated, gentlemen. U 2s Hold Me Thrill Me versus Chad Kroger Hero. So the U 2 song, it's Hold Me Thrill Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me from the Batman Forever soundtrack. Correct. Yeah. Kind of an it's kind of an it's, old it's, it's, it's a soundtrack yeah, it's a soundtrack one yeah. Yeah, yeah I was versus say, I'm Chad. Have to bow out on this one because okay. that didn't sound familiar to me. I don't think I've heard it. From okay. Chad Kroger and Josie Scott's Hero. Everyone, Ed, uh, the other gentlemen, do you have a opinion on this? Yeah. Oh, I, I yeah, no. It's for. Are we doing a one, Crash two, three and, countdown? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Crash and Mark. I don't. I don't even remember the U two one, so I have to bow out. So Crash and Mark. Oh, oh okay. So Crash for and me, Mark. It's, Go, yeah. Okay. Uh, for you two, hold me, thrill me. One, two, three. Easy. Okay. This is no contest. You're no sucked. contest at all. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even hear the U two one, and I would probably prefer. Oh, it, so. oh, the U two. The U two one is great. And look up the music video sometime. It's animated, <laughs> and it's animated. And the Joker kind or um, excuse me, the Joker. Uh, Bono actually switches characters between his weird pop pop mart character uh -huh. and the Joker at weird random point. It's it's great. Look up the video for "Hold Me, Thrill okay. Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me." I'd say it's one of, to make it real quick, I'd say it's one of U2's best kind of obscure cuts. Again, it's not from an album, it's from a soundtrack. I've seen them it play it live, and they're great at it. Yeah, ah. no, it's a, yeah, it's a fantastic song, and Bono has this weird orgasm breakdown at the <laughs> end of it. it. I know that's a hard sell, but I promise he makes it work. <laughs> yeah, that, that does find that's a way not to the work. Sa that's what not now? the sales pitch I was looking for, Crash. An orgasm breakdown? <laughs> it's, Bono? It's, it's one of the, uh, it's one of the weirdest U2 songs they ever wrote. Just hands down. I don't know it if is... I need Bono's O face. <laughs> That's getting stuck in a this... moment where you can't get out of it. <laughs> this was a PG-13 movie soundtrack? Okay. Uh, oh, it's 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 great. L look up look up that music video sometimes, people. That's your that's your homework assignment. You'll thank me later. It's a trip. Okay. <laughs> well, from Noxusur, and from my final one. Death Cab for Cutie's Transatlanticism versus the Postal Service's Give Up. Oh, <laughs> oh mm -hmm. I heard a groan. I, I, I almost feel, uh, uh, we haven't done this one. It uh, feels like one we don't Yeah, do. I was about to say, yeah, I, I've might seen have. it, the discussion online so much, it feels like I've done it, but I don't uh, think Yeah, I that's have. what it is. That's what <laughs> that it might is. be it, yeah, because there's obvious reasons why. We'll yeah. go, does everyone have an opinion? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I guess I've got one, sure. Death Cab for Cutie's Transatlanticism, one. Two, three. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, surprising there. I am. I was surprised with that too. But I get it. The postal services give up. One, two, three. By the mm -hmm. way, they're going on tour this year, and they're performing the whole album in entirety. Twenty years. Yep. Can't mm -hmm. believe it. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Give Anything up's a classic. I don't know. It like, is. I like Transatlanticism. It's one of the better Death Cab albums for me, alongside Narrow Stairs. But like, come on. Like, it's not beating Give Up. Give Up no, is a classic. 
I yeah, agree. It's so good. I agree. So I don't. Mean, I don't personally have a, much of a dog in either race. I'm not a huge fan of either band, but even I got to give it up. It's give up. It's give you up. So, yeah. I love Death Cab and it's give up. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. I think Death Cab would say give up too. But that's maybe. The yeah. Thing. I mean, real talk. <laughs> Come on, man. Such great heights. That song just yeah. that changed my world the first time I heard that song. Mm. Yeah. From Stephen Paulus. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing something. Death Heaven versus Loathe. Oh, I'm gonna be this. Mad. Is so am I. So am I, Mark. I, I I know where your head's at with this. I'm between the two. I'm making a decision. I am too. Yeah. I'm a little torn on it's, this. It's to be not honest. a. It's not a bad matchup in hindsight. Mm-hmm. I get but... why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Death Heaven. One, two, three. One. Okay. And load. Damn. One, two. Three. I really like both. I see more potential. Loathe just haven't been around long. They have not. Quite they long have not. For me, for, to it. fully say that, but I yeah. So. The thing is, um, Death Heaven have been around long enough. Mm, yeah, yeah. And, and be, they've and got some great records. They've also got some stuff too. Some well, stuff like, like like that last album. I'm sorry, that last album them. didn't. Order. Yeah, I'll give you that. It had good songs on it, but it was not a complete. Yeah. It was spotty. Yeah. yeah, spotty. Yes, that's a good word for it. Load. But sunbather, though. Yeah, but to be everywhere, to just be nowhere. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. Death Heaven has bigger highs, but they don't have as good. Their lows are much deeper. Okay. And I, one thing I will give Loath credit for is that ambient album they put out mm-hmm. uh, in 2021 is phenomenal. I got it. So good. Mm. For sure, for sure. I get it. I don't know how we want to punish Death Heaven. Um, I don't know. The next, I mean, I have the, the next. Okay, the next album has to actually be a black metal record. How about that? Yes, yeah, get a little more aggressive. <laughs> a little more aggressive. Yes. All the songs have to be under two minutes. <laughs> Oh. No, his head would explode. Oh. Are you kidding? They could, no, they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. That that's is, not, I know. That that's not even a build up for some of those tracks. You have to with Def Evan making a black metal album. That would be nice. Yeah. From Duffy Loner 64, band versus band. The Dillinger Escape Plan versus Every Time I Die. Oh, I'm going to bow I out. Do. I don't know enough yeah. every time I die. Yeah, also, same, I'm with Mark on yeah. that one, unfortunately. Also, there's some news in this because some of the members of each group have formed a new semi super group called that Battle Lovers. Is- that song is so fucking good. It's great. <laughs> New album comes out in like a month or two. It's great. Anyway. I'm really excited for it. Oh, Crash. Heard about this. It just came I, out this I, week. I can jump in on this. Yeah, I'll okay, jump. Okay. Dillinger Escape Plan. One, two, three. I lean a little bit more Dillinger personally. Same. I do too. I mean, both, great, both great bands, but yeah, uh, Dillinger. <laughs> Dillinger is like such wonderful chaos. It, it is, is such wonderful, beautiful, it's... fucking nutso chaos. I mean, Every that... Time I Die is good, but yeah. they ain't that nutty. That's They're... my flavor of nutty. Exactly. That's math chaos before math yeah, metal yeah. and math rock even had a definition. Yeah, so... you know, yeah. All, all, all these math rock bands y'all love so low. You pay <laughs> yeah. your respects because yeah. they were the grandpa that made it happen. Yeah, you know? but yeah. <laughs> the name of the new group, again, is Better Lovers. That's the name Better of it. Lovers. Their new song okay. just came out this week. I put it on my site. It's great. It's I'm such a look, ripper. Yes. I'm going to look better. That better sounds look. right up my alley. Yes. Greg is the vocalist from Dillinger. Mm-hmm. So Ooh, nice. Yep. So, yeah, he, he's a great singer. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool. He's yeah. such a unique voice. I love his... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what's yeah. awesome. For sure. All right, we're going back to the 90s. One of the biggest asked questions about grunge from Machine Gun oh. Philly. 10 versus Nevermind. Like you know, that. I don't think we've done this, but how have we not? How, yeah, it feels like we have, but maybe we haven't. I don't know. I don't think we have actually. Yeah, because I don't remember. God, yeah, the, you know this. This is a hard one for me. I don't. Same. I got this one. Yeah. I have. Okay. I do. I do have my answer. But I've got close. mine too. It's close. Okay. Yeah. In the order I see them. Whoa! Where did everything go? You guys still here? Still yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Thank God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> my computer okay. is just okay. having a field day for some reason with all this stuff. There Looks we like go. Our... Looks like the stream is still healthy. Thank Y'all God. let us know if we're having any issues in the chat. Yes, yes, please. Okay. Ta-da-da-da. One more thing to pull back up. You guys just enjoy. There we go. Okay. There in the go. order that I see them. Never mind. Mo- right, it's 10 first. So 10. 1, 2, 3. 
It's yep, gonna be a split, a and I, I get it. it. I get it. it. Fair, fair. And never <sighs> mind. One, two, three. This is a razor thin margin for me, people. That's fun. Razor yeah. thin. I'm gonna yeah. make a poll. You guys just go for it. Whatever you want to say. I mean, what can you say? They're both like extreme classics of the grunge era. The breakout. I mean, those were both '91, I believe. They came out the same yeah. year. They kind of spearheaded both of those bands. Is like superstar ascent and i mean i see the argument on either side of the aisle here i just went with nevermind because there's a slight edge in terms of i guess like in terms of the full album treatment of which one i come back to slightly more than the other both of them i do come back to a decent amount but nevermind just ever so slightly the uh amount of songs on that record that just punch my throat in i'm all for it yeah yeah. Mm. And for me, it's just, again, it's... Uh, okay, remember this little guy? Remember this little fucker? This oh. little fucker, the, those were the two albums that shaped his life. Again, Nirvana, Nirvana's Nevermind was one of the first albums I ever heard. I stole that from my brother all the time. And Pearl Jam's 10 was one of the first albums I ever bought. So, like, yeah. okay. again, it's it's impossible for me to edge the, to judge this without just gallons of nostalgia. I guess if I have to be a little bit more objective, I'd say Nevermind probably is the greater whole of a record. I'd say it's the better structured and the one that the one that fits better together cohesively, whereas 10 is the one with stronger moments. I'd say, again, like stuff like Jeremy, like, man, stuff like Alive, stuff like Woods, Oceans. Oh, Garden. Garden. I mean, I'm, mm. that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, no, it's... And I'm uh, and I'm again, on the yeah and I'm on the flip of that because there's so many big songs throughout Pearl Jamson that I feel like even release like just at the very end and then you go to mm. Alive and Why Go I mean there's so much to get involved in I feel like the closing moments stand out for me more just because of Ten and release even though I get the point of mm. how Nevermind ends at the same time though I just stick out with it because I think Eddie Vedder is such a that's where he shines the mm. most he has never lived up to that masterful performance as yeah. 10 the bar Same. was too high so i don't know well mark anything okay. not really um 10 is just the album that stands out to me the most i think it hits harder i think that the i think the production's also aged a little better in my opinion that's fair i think, yeah. I, I think there's a much a much heavier mm -hmm. roiling groove to that album whereas parts of nevermind can feel a little thin to me but that's me. That's me nitpicking to the absolute extent. And yeah, you kind of have to. It's a razor thin edge here. Yeah. You yeah. know, can I, can I toss in one more hot take before we go to the poll? Sure. Yeah. I I think what pushes it over the edge for me with Nirvana. I think what absolutely does it, and I'm gonna be that guy here. I think versus maybe just that little bit much better. Versus Ooh. is that hot? Is that a hot take? It's, yeah. not, it's it a yeah, hot take, but like, it's a hot take. But I love yeah. versus. So. But versus is mm, that's right. See. So, to the poll, with 68%, Nevermind wins. Yeah, I'm, no surprise. I'll I get it. Hard to I get it. Hard to beat there. You won't I hear me know. argue. Good suggestion. So, I Very also am surprised that that was not covered before. I, again, I feel terrible having to put 10 down at all. It's such yeah. a fantastic <laughs> record. Put it down like it's a pet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like the way you said it, oh, we gotta put oh, it down. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, no. It's no longer alive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Release me! Oh. <laughs> oh, Eddie, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, oh. Please forgive me, Stone Protect Gossard. Eddie at all costs. <laughs> I know, right? From oh, Goku's yeah. son, DBZ, Bloodhound Gang, Bad Touch, PS for Crash, Upside Down, Smiley Face. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> From the I Love This Song? I guess, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, he knows what my vote is going to be then. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not a ver it's not a versus, right? It's just No, it's just the song Bad Touch from Bloodhound okay. Gang. Oh, right, yeah. Well, okay, yeah. yeah. On three. <laughs> One, two, three. I didn't talk for 30 damn minutes about that. That's song, the, you know I, I mean? In my opinion, that's the only thing they've ever had a foot to stand on. So Yeah, if you brought up any other Bloodhound <laughs> Games song, we might have a more thrilling discussion here. But yeah, they knocked it out of the park with that one. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. From Ellie Yeats, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Radiohead versus Paramore. What? Radiohead versus Paramore. 
Apples and oranges comparison I, there. I get I why agree. they did it though. I feel like because Haley has talked about so much about being influenced by Radiohead. That's okay. Maybe okay. Does why? everyone have Does everyone have an answer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Radiohead. Okay. One, yeah. two, three. You know what? I'll be the odd man out for this. Okay. I will I'm be the odd man out. One, for two, three. I mean, fair. Go know. ahead. So again, I love Radiohead. Absolutely adore. Not again. Not gonna slag off Radiohead. Um, I do feel like Param like Radiohead. Again, as much as I love Radiohead and as brilliant as their brilliant records are, the albums of theirs I don't like. Man, I don't like them for. I, I have a passionate loathing for stuff like King of Limbs and like Pablo Honey mm -hmm. and like I. I know, I know. That's I kind get of it. a hot take. I know, but we're never going to agree on everything when it comes to Radiohead. But when Radiohead is bad, they just tunnel into their own asses and build a nice little and build a nice little tent and never come out. Paramore, on the other hand, like I don't. Paramore is more fun. Paramore has a lot more going on um, fr from a Sonic and a more of a like a groove sort of centric sort of uh, mentality. And I feel like the worst Paramore, I'm trying to think, what's the worst Paramore record? Uh, their debut. Their debut. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's just like a mediocre, mediocre emo record. Big uh -huh. deal. You know, I can I can sit through a mediocre emo record. I I would I would sit through Paramore's debut way sooner than I would Radiohead's debut at any I get point. It. Have you listened to Pablo Honey recently? Yeah. yeah. No, I, and I would absolutely listen to it over Paramore's debut. Right. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fine. Just the album creativity when I, Radiohead is in their ball, in, in their zone is just worlds above like just such a spanning universe of so much going on on something like OK Computer and just all these other things. Even, even, go ahead. even when Radiohead's not super creative, I would say, like, I go to the Benz. I don't think the Benz is a super creative album, but I also think it's head and shoulders above anything in Paramore's catalog. Okay, fair enough. Damn. That is a very fair point. God, I do love the Benz. <laughs> how, do we change my vote, how do we punish Make Paramore? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. Haley? Make them record a proper post-punk album. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's mean. That's ooh. mean. Uh, ooh. Ooh. But I'm ooh. here for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why is actually back there too. I ah. see Mark said it, but I'm you know I'm just all yeah. I'm doing is signing off on it. <laughs> From Chris Doman, Periphery Five, Gent is not a genre. The latest one that just came out. If you haven't I heard it, heard. I haven't heard it, so yeah. I'll have to excuse okay. myself here. Sorry. If mm. I'm the only one, one, two, three, thumbs oh. up. Quite enjoyable. Step up from the previous album gets bonkers, but it's a step up from the previous album. So I'm quite a fan. So that's just me. I hate that name though. I just they, they, the goofy na album names are always going to be that. Always, always, always. So I mean, that's always a thing, but it's a missed opportunity to say gent is not a genre. The genre, I know. The genre, come on. That would be Swing their. That would be their joke too. That's totally mm -hmm. their joke. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> from Nick K. Ba album versus album from the same band. Murder Gnomes versus 13th Step by A Perfect Circle. Ooh. Um, I haven't heard of either one in a long time. I'm going to bow out of this one. Fair. Okay. Other... Ricky dicky for me. I... Do the other two have one? Okay. I think, so. yeah. I think I do. Yeah. In order, I see them. The first one, Murder Gnome. One, two, three. Really? Mm. Okay. Okay. I, okay. Thirteenth step. I thought, one, two, three. I get it. I kind of. I, I, I figured someone would say Mary Denone. I yeah. would too, really but did. I. But I'm not going to be surprised by it. Thirteenth step is a complete album. Yeah. This is their classic. Yes. I think Back this is to front. Yeah, perfect. masterpiece. This is the emotional, not heartstring puller, but just destroy the heartstrings in general at some points. And yeah. I just think there's so much done. I have an vinyl over there in the box. I won't do show and tell, but yeah, some of the best writing Maynard has ever done. Yes. Period. Yes. Like, I even compared to tool records. And I know that's a hot take, but yeah, like, this no, is I'm him. with you. Uh, yeah, no, this yeah, is him no. and Billy Howard Dell getting together and making something beyond rock or alternative or that. Like they just said, screw it. We're making this exactly how it should be. So yeah. no, yeah. They, they killed it. Yeah. Mer Ma Mer Denom, Mer Denom did got beat out just because again, 
strong singles, a little bit of filler that just kind of pushes it away. It's not 13 step. Yeah, exactly. it's not the full body not of work. Step. Yeah. No, no, no. Mm. Okay. From Strawberry Burst 27, Muse song versus song. They're seeing Muse tomorrow, by the way, so that's exciting. Mm. Hope you have a good time. <laughs> uh, from their latest album, Song vs. Song, Will, oh, of the Pe- Will of the People versus We Are Effing Effed. And that's how it's written out. Thank you for the self-censoring. Uh. Um, that help that helps with the monetization. Yeah. Uh, well, first uh, I hope they don't play either at the concert. Yeah. I hope fingers they cross, play both fingers crossed for you on that. Oh one. gosh, John, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> hater, hate, 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 hate. Oh. <laughs> Why are they coming back for an encore? No, no. <laughs> we, are, we are effing f for the fifth time. Uh. All right, will of the people. One, two, three. When the bar is that low. Oh, okay. Wait, are we doing which song is better? Or which song? Yeah, is which worse? song is better? Song is better. Okay. Will the people? Will the people? Okay. And I'm we sorry, are f- and we right. are effing f. Thank you again, Strawberry Burst. One, two, three. Are there winners in this one? Really? No. I mean, not really, but oh man, <laughs> we. Whoa. Oh, that the album was something, man. It was rough. <laughs> it's it's rough. It was. It sucked. Yeah. Let's see, let's I it, have not an... come back to it at all. I will say that. Lord, no. <laughs> I don't think Lord, a lot of... no. Yeah, yeah. No. And to me, we are fucking fucked is that much worse because it is just, it is just the, it is just the, it, well, it's a great closing track in a sense in that it serves as a surmising sort of conclusion to the record. It serves as a nice little summary of their thoughts and feelings. A shame their <laughs> thoughts and feelings fucking suck. Uh, they do oh, now. Yeah. They do now. Yeah. yeah. They do now. Yeah, exactly. On that record, at least. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Cynical, cynical garbage. Cynical I just, garbage hate, with I just hated hook. the chant on the title yeah. track so yeah. much. Yeah. I hated I mean, that chant so much fair. that I had to vote for the other. Yeah, <laughs> That's absolutely fair. I understand. That is a, that is an earworm, I will admit. That just never leaves your freaking head. No, it like ricochets around like a pinball. <laughs> <laughs> the will of the will of the... I'm just standing in the shower and I hear that out of nowhere in my head. The strobe light turns on out of nowhere. Uh, the will of the will. Yeah, <laughs> see Matt in his shutter shades pop yes, out. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> from Mikhail oh. Thomas Brown, Skinny Puppy. Oh, Ooh, okay. We've never done That's that one. Minute, but yeah. yeah. It's been a minute for me too, but I know what my answer is. Yeah. One, too. two, three. I get down on some skinny butt. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Does not get enough recognition or respect so much farther in the game in 2023 standards, you know? No one's yeah. really, no one really ref. Well, that's true. But did we watch one of their music videos when we did that stream on yours? We might have, yeah. Time? We, we might we have. Did. Yeah. We yeah, think we did. We should do one of those again sometime too. We I'll, should. I'll, we really I'll, should. That was I, a lot of fun. I tell you yeah, what. I enjoyed that. Sometime next month, I'll find a good list of redonkulous music videos and see what I can find. Yeah. Good. Good. Write down, bad. hold me, throw me, kiss me, kill me. That'd be a perfect one. There you go. I need to look up <laughs> some of those music videos, like those soundtrack music videos, because some of those were bonkers Ooh. from the nineties. Just oh, yeah, do a soundtrack stuff. themed one. You yeah. can watch Hero too. Yeah, yeah, you can watch Hero. There you go. There you go. We're cooking now. All right. All right. Beautiful. That'll be my homework. That is a good idea. So when we mm. when we make that announcement, we'll let you guys know. And great suggestion, by the way. At yes, yes, props to absolutely. Puppy. Underrated. So, mm. Underrated. Absolutely. Romax two four two four five. That's a name. We haven't done this one. Three doors down versus Vertical Horizon. I don't know Vertical Horizon. Same here. We are everything really? you want. I am everything, I am everything you, need. you need. I am everything inside, inside of you yeah. that you wish no. you could be. Oh, Y'all no. never watched VH1 oh, in 1996 because that was all over that damn channel. You never went to a supermarket like in the last four. 15 years? <laughs> <laughs> I have my headphones on. Yeah, I was about to say that's smart. That's I'm smart. That. I pop headphones in. That's smart. Okay, I think it's just Crash oh, and I. That's you and me, Luke. For, I guess. for, for sure. this one, it's kind of fair. Yeah. One, two, or three doors down. Or, one, two, three. I'm not giving us the three doors. No, down. not either. Vertical Horizon. <laughs> oh. One, yeah. two, three. I, I mean, they didn't have many good no, songs, but they you know, didn't. 
Does that and work good? They I had a couple of singles. Single yeah, they had a couple of singles that stood out and were fun. You're a God. That was one that you remembered and weren't ashamed to listen to. That, that, that one is bonkers, though. The lyrics it is. to that one. Oh my but you gosh. know what? Crash and I are both in the same boat. Three Doors Down is one of the worst bands you can see live. Yeah. And it's not even close. Oh, yeah, they're terrible. They're just live. one of the worst bands, period. They, sh <laughs> they should get the level of hate that Nickelback get. Yes, they should. They were way more deserving. They, way more. They, they were they, way more deserving. They were like 25 times. Like, for, come on. For decades. For their comeback, yeah, their comeback in twenty, it. their comeback in twenty sixteen was such an awful mess. Oh goodness! Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Vertical Horizon. I've never been embarrassed by anything for Vertical Horizon. Never, ever, ever. I, I mean, there's not much to say about them. They were just like a VH, like I say, VH1 core. Yes, they were yes. All over VH1 in yeah, like the late. And that's 90s. fine. But and that's totally fine. Was, yeah. It was fun. It's you know, throw you know, look up their greatest hits. Have twenty minutes worth of fun. Yeah, they're all right. They're all right. They're fine. Fine. From the hero of darkness, that's also a username. Mm. Black Sabbath pre Dio, so, so Ozzy. Oh, Ozzy. Okay. <laughs> versus Iron Date Maiden with Bruce Dickinson before he went solo. So it's that period, like so, um, eighties, nineties, like after so, Paul D. So okay. like peak. So like peak. Sabbath, uh, so like Ozzy, yeah, peak the first Ozzy Sabbath and yeah. Peak Maiden, correct. The first peak decade Maiden. of Black okay. Sabbath and the like after Paul D, the first, the real right. peak Iron Maiden. This was a specific, specific one, so okay, okay. okay. I get it though. Everyone, right. ha everyone, everyone, an everyone have an answer? I uh -huh. do. The more I think yeah. about it, the more I question. Okay, Black Sabbath pre Dio, one, two, three. Really? We're gonna get so much hey. crap for that, but I, well, I stand are. by. I oh, stand we by. Are. We're gonna get hate. I so do I. Iron Maiden so with I. Bruce Dickinson. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh, y'all, y'all gentlemen, ready for a discussion? <laughs> we, Iron Maiden oh, owes a hey. whole lot to Black Sabbath, but peak Black Sa or but peak Iron Maiden. Yeah, y'all, yeah. y'all. We're talking about number of the beast. We're seventh son, power seventh son. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about somewhere beyond time, y'all. And I love Black Sabbath. I love so much of them. But guys, the creativity. Steve Harris, I still stand by as one of the unsung geniuses of all music, not just metal. So it's a, that's a hard streak to beat. And and you know, Sabbath. They had some of their best records during that period, but they had a few stinkers, you know, like towards the end of Ozzy's run. When, when, Ro when Ozzy everywhere. got yeah. red, when Ozzy got bad, when he was in rough shape mm -hmm. in the late 70s. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And I actually have these streams to credit for getting me into, like giving me the push to check out uh, Maiden. Iron Maiden yeah. catalog. I, that was m one of my homework assignments one there time, I believe. Oh, so. I see. Yeah. We, do, yeah. we do help. Happy we can help you with These that. streams yeah. help someone sometimes instead of people just giving us Nickelback versus Simple Plan or something blame again when we get right. a good suggestion we can work with it mark exactly. any thoughts for iron maiden not really i got seventh son uh seventh son of a seventh son is a 10 out of 10 album yes. and i don't think sabbath has a 10 out of 10 album so i don't know even paranoid i would go back mm. on that yeah um mm. paranoid is the only one that's close but i mm. i'd probably say it's a nine like it's, okay. It's okay okay i at least it's i at least get the argument on that okay yeah from Stevenator73, that's also a good name. Churches, the band, versus Metric. Ooh. Coming for me and Mark on this have one. Have we done this one? I don't know. I don't think I don't know if we have. I have not heard enough metric, okay. so I gotta okay. bow out. Oh, so, okay. well, there's okay. your homework. For there you tonight, go. Metric yeah, there, that's, that's fine. That's your homework. Metric and bad music videos. Got it. Okay. So oh, this really hurts. Hang on, have, hang on. Let me know when you guys have a decision. That's fine. I think I, I've got an answer, though I don't have dogs in this fight as much as the other guys do. Okay, so. I got it. Yep. Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay. Mm. You guys got Excedrin for tonight, too, after after this one? <laughs> Old bottle. Oh, uh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Churches. One, two, three. I'm so sorry. I want to. But Poor no. Lauren. Oh. oh, no. I really want to, but... Met Metric. Okay, how are we this consistent? Oh. Metric. <laughs> One, two, three. See, and I... I... Okay, I'll go first because mine is quick. I don't have a huge dog in either of these fights. I just... I've heard more Metric. I like more of the Metric I've heard. Uh, Church is a, a teensy bit more hit and miss for me, but they've got solid stuff too. I'm just a little bit on more on Metric, I have to admit. Maybe the Scott Pilgrim soundtrack helped kind of push me over the edge there. But, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a fantastic song, Black Sheep. Yeah, I think. 
but go ahead, I John. think uh, I think metric are just incredibly not that churches aren't consistent, but I mean going back through metrics catalog minus the one caveat for uh, pagans in Vegas, which I think is probably their weakest record. Outside of that, they've had a pretty remarkable run, and coming back. With the record since then, Art of Doubt is a fantastic album, so good, and they have it dialed in so well in blending genuinely like good electronics with alternative rock. There's just, I don't know, there's a feeling that you get with Metrics music that, not that I don't feel with churches, it's just that it's a little bit, that flame burns a little brighter with Metric, and they've just got several masterpieces under their belt, and I think fantasies is one of those okay fair enough mark anything um this was really close for me because i actually do think churches has the best album out of the group with every open eye okay um because i just think that album is one of the best albums of the 2010s the problem is is that metrics has fantasies and ultimately has in my opinion a more consistent catalog overall from their early punk days to the synth punk that they did um, I think the writing has aged way better with Metric as well. There's a level of detail and maturity and political acumen I don't think often gets as much credit as it deserves. Um, and Metric's never had to do a song with Marshmallow. Ooh. Mm. But there it is. There we go. Man, yeah, that's a big one. Little Lord yep. Mayberry's having a rough night tonight, crying her little <sighs> Scottish eyes out. Granted, the one thing I would give Metric is that they, the one thing I'll say, Metric, Metric's never been able to do a song with Robert Smith. That song Ooh. is so good. How Not, How to, not drown. to Drown is so, so good. good. So it's good. good oh, I listen to that song still very I, often. I heard <laughs> it. I heard it live and they did the recording for Robert Smith while they all did it. It was so good. So good. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. From Cinematic Sterling, Ghost album versus album, Opus Ooh. Eponymous versus Infantesim. Blah, blah, blah. I cannot talk tonight. <laughs> Infantesim. Infestasum. Yes. Okay. Yep. You guys have a choice? Yep. Let me look those up just I want to make You're sure good. I'm not getting them confused. Opus's Opus. debut. Okay, okay, I've got it. I got you. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Opus. One, two, three. Fair enough. I'm 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 close, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is close for me too. This is not I'm close. A, an, an easy one. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. I think it improves on what they had before on Opus. And that's and I appreciate Opus because they created that with minimal effort, like in a minimal studio budget and instruments yeah. and things, but I still think they stepped it up with the follow-up. So Mm. And again, again, I'm kind of with you. I again, I love what they were able to do with o with Opus. Like mm. that was a, a very interesting debut. I feel like I feel like Infinitesimum is that much more creatively twisted. It's that much more crazy and that much sure. more. I, I, I don't know. That one was kind of what helped people get Ghost. I remember a lot of the discussion around Opus was: Is this even metal? Do it even thrash? This is how that's does still, it even do? That's like, still an argument, people, by the way. Yeah, still and for but people started to get it, and I yeah. think it became a little more clear with when they started to build on the formula. A bit. Was this one a tie or a three to one? Um, no, it was, was a tie. It was, it was a, a tie. tie. Okay, okay, I gotta make it. Yeah. I gotta make a poll. You guys, Mark and uh, John, okay. go ahead. My brain. Sure. That. I'll give it pretty short. I think Opus is considerably stronger. Um, I think the singles are better. I think the overall hooks are stronger. My hot take is that I think the production's better. Okay. Because I have never been able to get into the production of their sophomore project. I just think it bounces off me in an odd way. I think it's messy. Uh, I think there's a murkiness that I get what it was trying to do, but it doesn't punch to the same degree. Mm. Fair enough. John, I think it's a maybe slightly closer for me, but uh, you know, Luke, you mentioned the whole budget thing. It kind of had me thinking in terms of like uh, you guys remember when the Paranormal Activity movies were coming out, and the oh, first nine, one yeah. had a low budget. It reminds me of kind of the way that Ghost had that hype that you weren't sure if it was manufactured or you weren't sure if it was 
something yeah. legitimate behind this. Yeah. And but coming away from it, knowing that there was like a legitimate low budget, like that's how they approached it. I think that what they accomplished with that album and the sound that they got for as maybe flawed as it might be, I think that's one of its biggest strengths. And does that make, does that make Meliora Paranormal Activity three? Yes, which is the best one. Oh, I haven't seen it all. Okay. I only saw the first Paranormal yeah, Activity, so and they do and they do start getting weird after four. So yeah, okay, that's also fair. That's yeah, that's yeah. I I, I, on, I genuinely do think the Paranormal Activity three is the best one in the franchise. I don't know why, but so. all right to the poll. Overwhelming seventy nine percent for Opus Eponymous. Wow. wow. I was not, I expecting, was not that. expecting that. Y'all y'all won that fight. Oh my goodness. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay. We convinced him, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. We go we'll do one more of these and we'll go to like a 10 minute uh lightning round. Is that okay? Yeah, that sounds good. good. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Gotta get my tad back. And from Neen Argueta, I apologize for mispronunciations. I've seen this one, I've seen the username before. August burns red. I don't. I'm not. Know. As I'm not familiar. like super experienced. I. Yeah. I guess I could. I, I guess I could stay in for okay, it. Okay, I'll stay I'll in for it. Too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. August burns red. Quick. One, two, three. I'm. A, I'm fine. It's. I like what I know. Yeah. Exactly. You know? It's fine. They do fo follow some tropes of metalcore. It falling into that uh, issue. They stand a little above the generic side the quality, of it, from what I remember. They do. They have a little more quality to them, so I'm fine with yeah. Thomas Burns Red. So sure. Have not yeah. heard. I don't think I have not personally heard the new recent one though that just came out like a month ago. Yeah, I'm not. I haven't. I don't think I've heard any of their full length albums. Gotcha. From okay, so lightning round. Da -da 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 -da. Let's do this. Let me reset. Okay. Oh, we already did that one. Skip. Okay, from just Isaac, the name Fallout Boy Save Rock and Roll versus So Much for Stardust. <laughs> oh boy, this will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, 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 save rock and roll. Okay, just quick lightning round. One, two, three. Okay, split. Um, I'm not. Oh. I'm not alone. I'll take it. No, you're not alone. <laughs> So much for Stardust. One, two, three. Y'all are, are going to be real mad when it shows up on my best of the year list. You really are. I won't be mad. Oh. I won't be mad. <laughs> I think I you'll hear more albums by then. I mean, yeah, we'll see. We'll <laughs> see about that. Oh. We'll see. If that's above the Boy Genius album, there's going to be problems. Oh, no, no, no. Not oh, at all. I would not at all. That. That'd be <laughs> weird. I'm still <laughs> mad I couldn't cover it. I was too busy goofing off with Resident Evil 4. But yeah, oh, amazing. amazing. Dude, I don't blame you for that, though. Were you, you know what I mean? Were you playing so Boy I mean, Genius? Were you playing Boy Genius in the background while playing Resident Evil 4? Because that's yes, weird. Yes, I actually was. That's <laughs> that would, Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Probably it's a have. weird combination, yeah, but it sure works. Is. For me. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> that's odd. Not strong enough to be, oh man, as I'm just <laughs> blasting heads off. <laughs> uh, all right, polls are in. By 51% to 49%. Wow! Save Rock and Roll wins. Uh, Razor's Edge. Oof. We'll take it. Fine. Fine. <laughs> you, know what I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad. A lot yeah, more. It was close. It was close. Yeah. I didn't think that was even going to be close, but okay. Okay. I'll <laughs> take it. I'll take it. I will gladly take it. <laughs> From Stephen Paulus, Sleigh Bells. Oh, boy. Oh, I know I know, one, I know one song, like Real Real, or is that one of them? Yeah, that's them. Yeah, that's that's, that's the only one I know. I don't know if I can do this one. I, I no, might I'm, have to go out because yeah, okay. y'all can. Okay. Ready, John? John, okay, Sleigh Bells. One, two, three. Okay. Thumbs, I double thumbs I've up or a thumbs down. John, any thoughts? Like, like, we're doing lightning round. Any thoughts you guys want to give, period? I love Sleigh Bells. I yeah. love their bright, stupid, sunny, pop, noisy guitar thing that they have going on. I know they've kind of stuck in their lane or whatever, and some of their more recent stuff is eh. But Bitter Rivals, I will stand by being a great album as well as Treats. Okay. 
I get what Sleigh Bells does. I've never gotten into them. They're one of those bands that's always been on my list. Of like, you should really try to appreciate this band. And every time I do, I bounce off them really hard. I'm just like, nope, I don't want it. I don't want to. I don't want to. Fair enough. Okay. We move on. Sepultura. Mm. From Eli Eat. Sepultura. Did I'll he think- specify an era? He did not. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, and there, so that, that's what my logic is, and that's why I have to explain mm-hmm. mine. So See, that, that's a, that's an ducks. interesting discussion there, but okay. Yeah. So Sepultura, one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Asterisk. I'll give, a, I'll give a tentative. Yeah, yeah. asterisk yeah. after the Cavaliers left. Uh, it's been different. Then, then, it gets, then it gets real boring real fast. Yes. I like some of the Cavalera stuff. Yeah. You can't Overall, deny roots. Yeah. You can't Chaos ID roots. is a damn good album. See, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. From Noxiser, Lemon Demon. I've not heard. Oh, oh, oh that's Neil Ciceregas. Yeah. Uh, one of his things. Okay. I haven't heard it. So, uh, uh, who, who has? Oh, you, you've heard. Have you heard. Uh, Oh, the epic battle of epic century, whatever that song's called. Not draw, oh. not regulated bells, but it was the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. <laughs> Good guys, bad guys, annex. It was a huge meme in like the early two thousands. Is this Cartoon it, Network material? I, I, I'm kind of a bit <laughs> lost. <laughs> it's more like early internet albino black sheep kind of uh, era. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Just, that just took me back. Uh, home star runner home star runner material. Whoa. Okay. Home okay. star runner era yeah. material. Yeah. I promise you've seen the ultimate battle of ultimate. You have totally. You, you've it's totally just probably it. slipped out of my head over the years. But okay? yeah. Albino black sheep definitely rung a bell for me. Everything's fine, right? Yeah, I heard a okay. yelp. I heard a yelp. I'm like, oh, I guess everything's fine. Ooh. Okay. It's probably just Ivan's flatulence. No, Ivan's with, Ivan's with me, so there's no oh. <laughs> none of that. So thankfully, <laughs> all right. You know, you know, I'll give a thumbs up to Lemon Demon. Okay. Easy thumbs oh. up. There. No. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give the next one and then go check on everything in there. From that guy, I don't like. That's the username. I'm nothing against the person. Supergrass. Don't know him. Don't know enough. I don't either. Him. Know them. Okay. I haven't had to think about them in a long time. Yeah, Do you know these guys? I know of them, like way okay. back in the yeah. Uh, you know, you really and me quick. can go. Yeah, I, I, I can't even go. But Supergrass, thumbs up, perfect. Th- okay. th- thumbs up. They're fine. They weren't deep. They weren't the best band of the late nineties, but they were a fun little. I love Caught by the Fuzz. Actually, okay. you've probably you've heard Supergrass if you've watched uh, Hot Fuzz. Their okay. song plays oh. over the end credits. Yeah, Caught by the Fuzz and uh, okay. uh, what have okay. I done? Yeah, that's that, yeah. that's Supergrass. Okay. They're fine. Great movie, by the way. Yeah, from, absolutely. Uh, mm. From Stevenator seventy three, balance and composure. Ooh. I'll be right uh, back. Never right. balance and composure. Mark, yeah, don't, 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 don't do this to me. <laughs> no. At an album or a band? Band. Okay. I probably don't know. Uh, do you want to count us down then, Crash? Yeah. For me, I'll count you down then. Okay. Yeah, okay. Balance, balance, um, and I'm back. Okay. Okay. Balance and composure. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh, ooh. Okay. What's to say? We got a bit of contradiction here. What do we got? What's their deal? Oh, I like what I've I heard, but they're fine. I'm not yeah. in love with them, but I I saw them live too, and they're fine. Yeah, I, I thought they were great live. They don't click. They don't click for me. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Sorry about that. Everything's fine. No, nothing's Good. on. Nothing's on fire. Yeah. From Good. from Goku Sun DBZ, the Who versus Green Day. <laughs> Because Again, of the whole like I rock think, opera yeah, thing, yeah, I, I guess. Think I see where his head's at. I think I see what he means there. That's the yeah. only you know, comparison I can think of. So it's it's a thin, it's a thin yes. comparison, but I think I see where his head's at. Yeah, yeah. So mm. the who, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. No, I'm gonna have to. I'm, no, I, this I'm is closer there. for no, me. This is a, closer. But. It's a tie, but Green Day, one, two, three. I, I hate not giving this to Green Day, but again, it's the Who. Yeah, you know, it's I mean the Green. Day. I mean Green Day was able to do because do what they wanted to do because of fair, the Who. fair. So, there is a lot of parallels. They start off really strong. They have yeah. a couple of rock opera approach. They both turn to absolute shit in their later years. They had the like, comeback. Yeah, right? Absolutely, they had the comeback. So yeah, dun, 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 dun. got time for a few more. 
from the Louis Salea. Again, I apologize for pronunciation. We do our best. <laughs> minus the bear. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, minus the bear. I don't know their music. I'm from vaguely familiar. I'm yeah, yeah I, could, I could do this. I, I could do this. We'll do this one yeah. quick. Minus the bear. One, two, three. I apologize. Yeah. It doesn't click for me. Fair. It's just not. not it's kind of the thing. same for me for balance and composure. They're fine. I liked what I've heard. Yeah, that's know? where I'm at with minus the bear. It just okay. isn't my thing. Just isn't. I get it. So, mm. John, anything? Um, minus the bear are kind of like one of those bands where I'm not uh literate in like full albums. It's yeah. more so like I've heard various songs throughout the years and I've really enjoyed those, but there have been some that I haven't liked. I'm sure I would have a different take if I had actually sat through full albums. So gotcha. there's an asterisk on mine. The thing is I've sat through full albums. You're not missing too much. If I can yeah, <laughs> I got it. You know. Yeah. I guess they sh it should say something that I haven't had the desire to go explore full albums. So I mean, yeah. mm. we'll do two more. Yeah, two more because we got one minute left. Literally, yeah. just Maxi says Origami Angel. Don't know. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I can do this. Mm. Okay. Sounds familiar, but y'all go ahead. Yep. Okay. Yep. Mark and John. Origami Angel. One, two, three. I think they're a little overrated in like yeah. certain critical spins, but they're good for what they are. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like. I don't know, is elevated pop punk a good way of putting it? Kind of oh, like in, in that way. Yeah, they kind of want to yeah. do like the Spanish love songs thing, but they aren't quite smart enough, in my opinion. Yeah, it's not a full on connection for me, at least not yet. But I do enjoy uh, a decent amount of their material. I also think they're crazy creative. Like they do some weird genre bending, which I think is pretty impressive. But uh, Cami Gang should be way better than it is. It's also way too goddamn long. Yeah, I was just about to say it was way too long, dude. That did not need to be that long. Okay, fair enough. We got... Da -da 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 -da. Okay, well, pop punk bands uh, really need to be careful about releasing double albums. It gets old fast. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, that, that's interesting, mm. yeah. Inter okay. Man. From Adam B., Boston Manor versus Trophy Eyes. Oh, no. I don't know Trophy Eyes, unfortunately. I can do this one. So yeah, okay, we'll do a quick Boston Manor. One, two, three. Yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. it is Boston yeah. Manor. I do know Boston Manor. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, the neighborhood mm -hmm. alone. Oh neighborhood yeah. Alone. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Sure. They just they continue to put out great stuff. I they, I really they, think they're a great band. They're that, that album. That album they released last year was really, really strong, even if it yeah. was super short. It was. It was yeah. Short. Part two this year, It though. was oddly short, but at the same time, it worked out well. So. Yeah. And yeah. Fine, finally, we'll do this the last one. This is a good one to end one, because I don't think we've done it before. Eli Eat, Corn versus Avenge Sevenfold. Mm. Mm. Ooh, this is a tough conversation. <laughs> <laughs> See why it's a good one to end on? It did not end it on the right <laughs> note. I see yeah. Like, yeah, perfect <laughs> one. Yeah. Uh, I have an answer. Mm, is it a I? right? I don't know if it's a right answer, but I have. Oh, one. neither do I. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I doubt I'm correct. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Corn. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, I knew it. And event <laughs> sevenfold. One, Two, three. My comments are real quick on this one. I'll sure. make it. I just, I know, I get how influential they are. I know they're important to new metal as a whole. I know they've innovated and they've done a lot with their career. I just don't like it. It has never, ever, ever, ever clicked with me. And it just never will. I have tried every era of this band. I have listen to probably every corn album i've spun at one point or another and it just never works no matter what they do to that sound i just can't get past jonathan's voice i can't get past fieldy's fucking slappy ass barely even present bass it is just not my thing y'all y'all need to accept it because it ain't gonna change i'm sorry at least avenge sevenfold's nightmare had dave had uh mike portnoy on it mm -hmm. it did yeah, Corn have had a lot of special guests though on their stuff too. That I have yeah, heard, so. it, like like yeah. Fred Durst. <laughs> well, yeah, John, you're supposed to be on my side. Knock it off. My bad, my bad. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Skrillex on there, because I remember that, too. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah that, was, that was a fun collaboration. Mm. Yeah, can I change my answer, actually? <laughs> uh, see what I mean? See what I mean here? Like, uh, Chord is tough. a Chord is a ton of fun live. Avenged Sevenfold. Yeah, that a, I believe that's a better Avenged review. Sevenfold is Absolutely. a stage spectacle with all the design and screen, but it's just kind of there. Yeah. Makes sense for a band that have an album called The Stage. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, I haven't seen them in years. No one has because they haven't toured. But right. <laughs> they've, yeah. been, they've been deep in the NFT game. They can't. They're they touring can't. virtually. <laughs> oh, that would suck <laughs> oh. if they did that. Can you imagine? <laughs> Goodness. They're oh, playing yeah. they're I doing Minecraft it. concerts now. You know, they they probably will end up on Decentraland doing something. What's the meta yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, what's the face metaverse, metaverse one? Yeah. yeah, a metaverse concert. Uh okay. yeah, there you go. We have our tie. And the winner, according to the poll, is Avenge Sevenfold at fifty four percent. Man, it's a weird poll when I'm rooting for Event Sevenfold. It really is. And I'm an Events <laughs> fan, too, but even I'm like, I don't know if this is the right answer or not, guys. Uh, Did yeah, I it's tough. It's, it's such a tough call for me with that because I do, I have nostalgia for both of those bands. I just yeah. kind of feel like I've kind of grown out of both of them I think in different the ways. I think That's nostalgia, fair. I think nostalgia drives true. the fan base for both right now. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And Big time. It's a, I don't know. It's tough to go back to. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to go back to? Scat singing? Or do you want to like the current A7X where it's nobody and How about NFTs? a mashup? How about a mashup? A both? Yes. Crash, okay. could you show us what that would sound like? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, <laughs> oh the problem is, man, M Shadow's okay. Y'all are going to think I'm being Ooh, real mean. M Shadow scat singing. That's it. Yes. Yeah. There you yeah, go. No, that, that, no, that's the one I'm thinking. Y'all are going to... Yeah. I'm going to be real mean. M. Shadow sounds like shit on that new song. He sounds, I agree. His voice is blown he the can't, hell no, out. He literally He hasn't can. recovered. Yeah, he, he can. is. Yeah. Like, he is kind of... I'm worried about this record hearing that single. We I'm all worried are. about the we tour. All are. Yeah, the tour. Oh, yeah. Well, that <laughs> the is tour could be worse. Is. Yeah. Yeah. And you know but who's yeah, on him with that? You know who's on him with that tour? Who? Falling, falling in reverse. Ronnie Radke. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that's, that's right. Because right. Spirit Box oh. dropped off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good for them too. Good for them too. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. someone, all... someone, get in touch with Ice Nine Kills and get them off Seri the tour I'm too. Just... Mm. Oh, Ice Nine Kills, Spirit Box. You have a three. You have a three people lineup that fills. That arenas. would that would do well in sales. It would. Yeah. 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 I just I don't want y'all to get I don't want I don't want y'all to have to put up with Ronnie. No one likes putting up with Ronnie as a thing, you know. Oh, you say that there's a million girls on TikTok who would claw their eyes out for Ronnie Radke for some reason. For them. Mm. Have the right page on the way out. Uh, I'm, I'm biting my tongue from saying something real. I know. Real I need to. Real. I need to. You keep, know. I am. I need to keep my <laughs> mouth shut too. Keep. I, mm -hmm. I, we've we've done a good job of keeping our mouth shut. But anyway, I, you, you know what, Ronnie, fight me on Twitter, you coward. You still haven't bankrupted my parents. <laughs> yeah, he you still hasn't... haven't punched me in the face like you promised. Yeah. yeah. What do you got? What do you got, Ronald? <laughs> Does anyone else want to see him try to do the jumping uppercut but not not reach? Yeah, to I, six. I'm six foot seven, by the way. But by, by the way, Ronnie Ronnie Rad, Ronnie Radke <laughs> is my height. I've stood next to him before, so most yeah. most of us can fight. Like I don't know, yeah. like, like <laughs> Ronnie Radke. Like, I am Ronnie Radke can call his dad and tell his dad on us, though. D d What's and? It, I know, West I know. Man. That was his West actual. Man, that was an actual thing he did. So. Did he? Oh, my God. oh, that's on video. Uh, you didn't hear that? Blue Ridge. I was there at Blue Ridge Rock Fest, guys. There was a guy that had the site, the shirt that said Ronnie Racky sucks. Two minutes, stopped the show, just ripping this guy apart. And after he's saying, I'm going to pull my dad on you. And that was it. Then he walked off stage. That's on that's on YouTube. That was a big thing. I swear on my life, guys. Turn, okay, that's, that's my homework for the night. I need to look that oh, up. I'll find that link for you. Because it starts Ooh. off... Because it starts off like, okay, he's making his ground. I get it. But it gets real awkward after a bit. So. Oh, my God. He, tu he, does, he turns 40 years old this year. That is unreal. <laughs> I'm going mm. to tell my dad Man on you. 
I'm going to tell Man, my dad baby. on you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm. he's turning 40. Okay, I'm going to tell my dad, who's like, has to be at least like in his 70s. You're going you're gonna to call his, your geriatric uh, father to his come dad's beat my appara- ass? His dad's apparently in a biker gang, and that's why he has biker security around him. But even so, you had to tell your dad? I just imagine Ronnie Radke in one of those little... Uh, those those little baby carrier things that hang out from the front, hanging from his biker dad's from the front. <laughs> his dad saying, "Don't talk to me or my son ever again." <laughs> Is that why Ronnie wears so much leather? Oh. That's why he has the biker security. He has he's had that for the while. I think it's part of the yeah. It's uh, 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 it does explain uh, a lot. It does. Yeah, it, it honestly it does. does. See, mm-hmm. It does. It, why is he got his ass kicked more often? Mm-hmm. I'm surprised it's it does. Biker security. Yeah. Oh, that's why he does because he feels he yeah. feels secure. He feels safe. Right. Got it. Got Unreal. it. Unreal. What a way to end Rock Coliseum 15. <laughs> oh, right. 15, man. This was this was a this was a good one though. We had a lot of good discussion. Yeah, this, this was one. good. We yeah. did. We had some very good ones. Let's go through with this episode. I'm happy how it turned out. Yes. Yeah. yes. I apologize for the crash. I have no idea how it happened. Not. Crash Thompson, the computer no, the, crash, the literal yeah. crash. The no, li- no. I, I still have no idea why. I'll do a log, but guys, you guys hung in there. I was able to pull it back as fast as possible. Thank you guys for sticking around. I'll do what it takes to make sure that doesn't happen again. Thank you guys for sticking around. These gentlemen, I want to make sure have some stuff to plug. I want to make sure they get some time out. If you haven't subscribed already to their channels, they're all in the description below. You need to do that. Why haven't you already? John, what do you have coming up on your channels? So May next month uh, marks 10 years since I started my show Seven on Sunday, uh, which is hard to believe, but I'm going to be celebrating that uh, each Sunday that month with some sequels to some of the most beloved, if you will, episodes of the show, popular episodes throughout the years and kind of some like remastered takes because let's be honest the uh the old episodes are terrible <laughs> and need updating i'm so. sure they're not that bad every uh, the only ones that are terrible every, are mine okay. every youtube channel is terrible at first there's no I, exception let's let i'm gonna be 100 percent honest my wife saved my channel when she started helping me with like upping the production value game of things so yeah it's we're just gonna be doing some fun sequels to old episodes and uh you can look forward to that starting first week of may okay awesome mark how about you what do you have coming up on your channel no, I'm not a huge amount right now. For me, a lot of it's going to be stabilization. I've got a lot of, I've got some reviews in my back catalog and catching up on. Um, new Inter Shikari is dropping this Friday. That yes. was pretty Oh, cool. I got, I, yeah, I'm going to do an album review on, on that my, too. So that's on my radar too. There's mm-hmm. a couple other albums I'm curious about. It actually might be a little bit of a breather for me. I kind of really want that just to catch up on some stuff. And like, again, what people, people don't see what my backlog looks like. Um, I have probably 30 <laughs> albums on my backlog. That's not counting my schedule going forward. So, not even all my patrons see all those. So, but in the meantime, if you guys want to check out Billboard Breakdown, which dropped this morning, um, if you want to check out any of the short form reviews, I covered the Liturgy album today. Um, God bless you for that. that yeah, was... I've heard so many weird things about that one. I don't want to. Yeah. Liturgy is just a weird band. 80 okay. minutes of experimental black metal. Um, I get it. It's not for everybody. I get why people love it. Okay, it doesn't work for me at all. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I fell off that bandwagon hard. I feel I feel you with that. I, yeah. Okay. And Crash, what about you? I've got actually for a change. I have a lot of stuff oh, nice. uh, coming up here. Actually, I've got. Uh, of course, I'm back on my uh, single album review uh, schedule here. Thank God, it's good to be back. Really enjoying doing it now. It's it's absolutely great. I've got the new Enter Shikari on my radar. I also might, this is a might, this might end up on a Femi if I can't get to it, but if I have time to cover this, an album called Pearly from this band Pearly called Drop. Pearly Drops, uh, called A Little Disaster, also dropped the week of Metallica and everything else. It's kind of flying under the radar. I might throw up a quick review on that one because it's really, 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 really good if you can get into what okay. they're doing. Maybe stay tuned for that. I've also got Enter Shikari on my list. Uh, Bell Witch is also releasing uh, a record uh, that uh, same week. I've got The National coming up on the 28th. I definitely want to cover that. And of course, the biggest one of all, I'm sure we're all going to talk about it, The Bluey Record on April 21st. We're <sighs> all going to cover that. Did you guys all get your tickets so we can dress up and go together? 
<laughs> the Who? what? Bluey, uh, the cartoon dog. Bluey. The cartoon dog, that's a big deal right now. Um, do you have friends? You have friends who have kids. They probably watch Bluey, right, John? My sister. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, okay, remember Peppa Pig from a few years yeah, back? Yeah, of okay, course. Not Bluey, nearly as annoying. the same deal. Not as nearly it's, as annoying. Paw Patrol was the new deal. <laughs> oh, I'm so out of it. Uh, Here's the yeah, thing. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I remember when Mike the Snare put out did a screenshot of uh from the Peppa Pig album for one of his year end countdowns <laughs> and he and he inter and he interplaced that with uh, the Arm and Hammer album Haram. If you haven't seen the t- the, <laughs> the, the, the 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 album cover of that, um spoiler warning, there's gore. Um just be careful. <laughs> That's a good warning. That is a fair warning. Yeah, and just a few more quick things. Um, okay. I did mention this. Why uh-huh. that crash? Why the hell did you buy Saint Anger on vinyl? Well, the next okay. long form record I'm working on, I am working on a on the part two to uh, the Curse of the Best New Gra- Grammy Artist video, uh, mm-hmm. where we cover ninety five to ninety nine. That's going to be a little bit later down the line. But I actually, the next big one I'm working on is going to be a How to Get Into on Metallica. So, so this is a fucking. So this is a fucking. So you hold that up right and there. say yeah. no. Yeah. No. Yeah. That, yeah. Un- Uncle Sam gets to pay me for this record. So yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh man, you're getting audited. No way for I'm buying Saint. Yeah. No way I'm buying Saint Anger on vinyl if it's not a tax write off. So. There you go. <laughs> up on my channel on early access right now. Ten rock bands that got to number one on MTV's TRL. It actually right. did happen. More than I thought, too, when I did all the research. Oh, yeah. So mm-hmm. people don't realize TRL actually did have a fair share of heavy music on it. Not just yeah. boy bands, rap, you know, all that stuff. So It was a good yeah. variety. It honestly it, did. It, it did. It really mm-hmm. was a decent mix up. At times, it was completely random. So I found 10 that actually hit number one. Some surprises on there. And some oh, yeah. odd ones on there, too. So that's coming up soon. It's on Early Access right now. Album reviews coming out. Shorts coming out. New music night every Sunday, 7, or, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. I have homework now because I'd have to find a lot of good music videos for a riffage on Twitch. I'll make, we'll figure that out offline. Mm. I think that's all I have for sure that I know of coming down the pike because I have other stuff in the works. So how do we close out tonight besides saying thank you to everyone that stuck around. This was a fun one. Good audience. Good amount of people. You guys were wonderful. We let's say gave us great suggestions yes. didn't see too many people acting up in the chat i did not well, see any trolls appreciate. yeah so i i saw one guy who was just being not even a troll just being a little mouthy put him yeah. in timeout he was fine we're okay, okay. We're fair fine. enough so i guess we should close out how would m shadows covering uh freak on a leash sound oh my god <laughs> like uh spent these days are you sure you want that I mean, impression because want... <laughs> it's mean it, it's gonna rasp. be mean it's <laughs> I can't. Ugh. I can't even say no. Don't be mean to him when he's hawking NFTs and making fun of people. I mean, that. yeah. Let's be real. He's yeah. kind of open to. like a freak. Buy, buy my Ethereum, please, please, please give oh. me Ethereum. I need <laughs> Ethereum to live. Uh. I don't remember that part of the breakdown. Boom, bata, um, bata. <laughs> Dan, Dan, Dan Olson, please don't make a folding videos video on the folding ideas video on me. Aww.